it going, chat? Thank you very much for the offline subs. One from Roselli. One from uh, A A P uh, Chimp. Uh, Apes Chimp. Uh, one from Dorian. One from uh, Eclipse was taken. Uh, Damps. Boofy. Alex Magic. Jake Robles. Uh, Toilet Treat was the last sub from last night with a nine month reset. Welcome back. You don't already know. I have a charm in Rainbow Six Siege. If you want to get it, sub to me on Twitch and then link up your Ubisoft account and Twitch account. Uh, when you do that, you'll get my in-game Rainbow Six Charm for free on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. All guns and operators, all future guns and operators. Uh, you only have to sub to me one time for one month and you get to keep the charm forever. Uh, tier 1, 2, 3 sub, gifted sub, or free with Prime. If you have Prime, type in strip Prime, link up your Amazon account to show, and you can sub for free. Additionally, if you don't already know, I made a bidet. I made a bidet if you haven't seen it. It comes in black. It comes in white. Uh, it's $39.99 in white right now. I don't know why the price is up on the black one. Maybe we're running low on inventory. I got to check. Uh, with free shipping, it looks like. It attaches underneath your existing toilet seat. I press this button after you take a shit. Nozzle comes out. Cleans your butthole. Okay. Nice and clean. Uh, it's like a miniature shower for your butt. And when you're done, you just put the stop button, use a little bit of toilet paper to dry up, and you're done. Take care of all the poop. It's cleaner than wiping uh, with either toilet paper or wet wipes. Uh, it is uh, saves you a bunch of money on toilet paper. Much cheaper than using toilet paper. Less clogs on your plumbing, less, less problems on your plumbing, and uh, better for the environment. It uses very little water. How's it going, everybody? What's up? Uh, 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 what's going on, Chang? What's going on, Fatal? What's going on, Rufus? What's going on, Vinny? What's going on, Rice Ups? What's going on, Troy? Need a bidet charm? I wish, dude. What's going on, the Willies? You're going to make your girl get it? There is a female wash option, okay? They are pretty nice. They are pretty nice. Let's see what I got in here. Oh! Not, not battle pass points, so that's a plus. Not battle pass points. Wow. How many items do I have in total now? 7,058. A lot, bro. A lot of items. Good day, emote. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. All right. Just took a five hour nap. Wow, must be fucking nice, dude. Must be fucking nice. Five hour nap. Motherfucker, that's a night of sleep. The after school nap hits. That's like a fucking night of sleep. What do you mean? Favorite G Fuel flavor? Um, honestly, I think with summer coming up, probably Sour Blue Chug. Uh, Sour Blue Chug Rug. That shit is a great summer flavor. Either that or like Hype Sauce is a good summer flavor. Like, I'm thinking because, you know, we got. It's fucking warm. Today was nice, dude. Black Ice is good? Yeah. Black Ice is sold out, though. There's also like Isaac's Tears, which is like the Binding of Isaac flavor. That flavor is really good too. And uh, also, Sour Pixel Potion is really good. They just brought that back. That's actually an old flavor, and it used to be one of the most popular flavors that G Fuel had. And uh, they got rid of it because basically that flavor was Twitch's flavor. So Twitch used to act like the website Twitch used to be sponsored by G Fuel. Their flavor was called Sour Pixel Potion. 
That was Twitch's flavor. And they brought that flavor back, obviously, without the Twitch branding now. Uh, Manolo, thank you the Tribe 43 month resub. Welcome back. What's on, Tony? So, yeah, that flavor is very good if you have not tried it. Very good. I don't know about that era. I don't know about that one, Chief. Don't know about that one, Chief. Dude. Yeah, I went to Costco today. I had a huge Costco order today. And I'm picking up my cow next week. He is so my cow next week. Uh, Sulfur, thank you very much for the 54 by 3 sub. Welcome back. It's not Sulfur. It's not Fabow. It's not Glitty. I did not watch the Wings game tonight. No. I was, I was, busy, uh, I was busy at Costco, dude. I just go live literally like a few minutes ago. Yes. You're here right at the start, buddy. Oh, I'm excited for that, dude. I'm excited for that meat. I'm excited for that meat. Oh, I've been chilling, dude. Been chilling. Oh, look, game and see you's on after. Got back in the R6 community. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. It's a good time to be back in. <coughs> what do you guys mean? Bro, you guys fucking think of everything in a weird way. I'm just fucking excited to get my cow. As per usual, I'm champion. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was, like, top, like, I think, like, earlier in the season, I was, like, top 100. But there's just been a lot of cheaters this season, so. Unfortunately. But I'm excited, though, dude. Big Costco order. I found the new, uh, I actually did a lot of shit today. Getting air conditioning. New furnace in my basement where I stream. Yeah, I'm solo queuing, yep. And then uh, I also found the hood. I also found the hood over my, uh, like the hood over like my kitchen, like stove and stuff like that it was, it's kind of on the fritz. So I just, I, I found the new one that I wanted today. Oh, someone joined and then immediately left. All right. Oh. What's up, buddy? Hey. Uh, I got one with me, if you don't mind. He joined. You're good. No, solo, so. Just lost two games in a row, and now I have to make it up with six games. Wonderful. And went against a cheater who went 14 and something. So. Average Rainbow Six experience? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Am I sold my parents out? No, I bought a house and stuff like that. Yeah. Bought a house. I'll. I got married Oops. and then uh bought a house like basically the exact same time. Uh and yeah, I have two kids now. I have two kids. Yeah. It's been a long process of like the house is fully remodeled and stuff now. There's the only things that I like still need to do on the house is um I don't have air conditioning in my basement because previously the previous owners never felt it was like necessary, I guess, or something. There's heat down here. There's a furnace, but there's no AC probably because it gets hot down here because I stream and my whole streaming setup is running and stuff like that, which creates a lot of heat. Um, I also installed like a massive server rack, like to run the whole house and stuff like that, which also creates a lot of heat. Moral of the story is I need air conditioning in the basement now. It's also gotten hotter over the years. Like, last year in the summer, I mean, I had a big fan blowing on me, but it was like 80 degrees Fahrenheit in my basement. 80, 82. Like, it was cooking down here, bro. 
So I got AC. AC coming in soon, TM. Take it easy, Big Woot. Hey, thank you, Tank. Thank you, Dre. But yeah, I'm just getting like I had I got a quote from like one company already. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get like at least like two quotes. I don't like to do all that stuff in the lobby. I, I don't want to just do uh Gary John. Oh yeah, that's in the lobby. Sounds good. Did I ever end up selling my Corvette C8? I did. I sold that a long time ago. Did. Did, did, did. But, yeah. Those are the two projects. I'm going to try to get both of those things done this month. And I don't really see anyone else on. <coughs> I'm trying to get both of those things done this month. Get the new furnace and AC installed this month. I think the person is on right now, Brandon. Uh, and mm. uh, get the new hood and ventilation system. Mm -hmm. I kind of went crazy on cars for a little bit, but I've calmed down. I had a Supra and a Corvette at the same time and my pickup truck and other stuff. <laughs> but it's all... You got estimates for some landscaping in a patio, and it's 30K? Get extra quotes. That's fucking ridiculous. 30K is insane. Uh, Easy Mouse, think, think of the Twitch Prime 10 month resub. Welcome back. 30K is insane for landscaping. I mean, it I mean, I guess it depends what you're doing. Like, it could be there. Especially if the patio is, like, large and it's, like, brick paver. Or something, but honestly, if you're able to do it, you could just I if I were you, if you're doing a patio, just have them pour cement, and have them. You could do like if you really want to design on it, you could do stamped concrete, and it's way more durable. It it's way cheaper. It's way faster. Like I don't know. It's up to you. Obviously, it's your house and stuff, but. Brick paver is a pain in the ass. You basically have to rebuild the brick paver. Like, you have to maintain it, like, power wash uh, it every, like, like I don't know, couple of years, maybe. And then you have to, like, uh, there's a lot of upkeep on it, and you have to put sand in between it every, like, few years. It does look good. I have some brick paver on my house, too. Like, but I'll just give you an example. I got a pretty good price on it, but I have, like, two walkways that go to my house and it was like 50 i think it was five grand or something like that i reused the existing brick but they pulled out all the existing brick and they reset it all because it was like sinking in certain areas and stuff like that and like you know Stamped concrete has to be a reseal every few years as well. Yeah, but resealing stamped concrete is, like, easy as fuck, dude. You just buy, like, a big, like, you know, pan of sealer or whatever, and, like, that's it. Just reseal. You could just do it yourself. You put on a respirator, you get a paint roller, and just roll it over. I want to power wash it off first, maybe. And you could even do stained concrete, too, or you could do, like, aggregate concrete. Like, there's a whole lot of options. I don't know. I mean, having brick... Like, I have brick paver at my house, and if I was ever redoing it, I, I don't think... It, like, maybe for the front yard, I'd, like, do keep brick paver because I think it looks nice. But, like, I have, like, a big deck, and then underneath the deck, there's brick paver underneath all of it. I haven't even redone it yet. Like, it's fine. It's not, like, horrible there, but it really needs to be, like... All the bricks need to be, like, ripped up and, like, reset. Over the years, you know, water just has gotten in there and, like, washed out. A like, it wasn't really maintained. You're supposed to add sand back into the brick paver every, like, few years and, like, power wash and seal it. But I really don't feel like doing it because it's probably, like, I don't know. I never go under there, literally, ever. And it's still, like, it's stable and everything. It's just some of the sections, like, the... 
some of the bricks are lower, some of the bricks are higher. Not it's not like a tripping hazard or anything. It's just mostly cosmetically doesn't look that great. But once again, it's underneath the deck, and the quote that I got to reset all the bricks was like three grand. And one, it's you know I don't go down there, so I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> like the only time I ever go down there is to if I'm bringing something He's into the basement the from outside. <laughs> Sunshine Hobby, thank you for the 46 month resub. Welcome back. And that's pretty much done at this point. So for a while, I was it was like, you know, it stay, it, it's not like a tripping hazard or anything like that. So I'm just, I'm not gonna, not gonna bother. But be prepared for that. If you have brick paper and you want it to look nice consistently. Now, another option that you could do is like somebody yeah. said they did it themselves. If you just want to take a weekend, you could probably do it in a weekend if you really want to. Go to Home Depot. Buy all the fucking materials or wherever you want to buy materials from. Buy a, a bunch of fucking pea stone and sand and stuff like that to set out a base. Oh, lost somebody. Brandon, what happened? Um, and game then game uh, you, there's... I don't feel like playing. Okay. All right. I'll play another time. See you guys. Later. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's actually machines that you can rent from Home Depot and stuff like that, or other like places and they compact, like you just pour down all the, like, I don't know. You could look up, I don't know the exact composition of what would go underneath brick paper, what's like best, but you can look up the composition of what it is and you could probably do it in like a weekend or something. If it's like, you know, you and maybe like a friend or something. But yeah, reusing my own, reusing my pavers and just taking them all out, rebuilding the, like the foundation of them. And then, uh, and that was like a great price, dude. I was getting like, I still remember there was a guy <laughs> who told me that he wanted to like completely rebuild it with new brick and everything like that. And I was like, okay, like, let's just fucking see, dude. Guy wanted fucking almost forty thousand dollars to redo like two like little walkways, and they're like a pretty good size. Jump a dip. Would you like to play? Sea gravel, sand, and slag is probably the best. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure to be honest what they use, but we're literally gonna get into a game. Do you want to play or not, dumbass? Either way, though. Uh, this guy wanted forty fucking thousand dollars for the shit. Forty grand. Forty grand. So, uh, you know, I obviously told them to gargle my fucking ball sack, and uh, I paid somebody else five grand to pull up the existing bricks, rebuild the new base. Power wash and seal them. The best was too is like I got him as a recommendation from some like family and friends, and he pulled this shit where he was like, "Oh yeah, he he this this is what he told me too is the funniest thing ever." <laughs> he's like, "Uh, what did he say?" He's like, "Oh yeah, he's like he's like the rich man does it once, he's like the poor man does it." Uh like three times or something like that. And I'm like, well, even if they charge me five grand to reset everything and uh, I end up redoing it three times, that's still 15 grand and uh, you're trying to charge 40. So. <laughs> I think you just want me to pay you $40,000 to do probably 15 grand worth of work. But uh, 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 uh. yeah, it's just like, I don't know, man. 
I'm not going to lie. Like, some contractors are fine and stuff like that, but there's just so many that are just absolute fucking jackasses. I haven't really dealt with many of them, but it's like, I, I mean, I could obviously, like, feel them out pretty easily when they come to my house to give, like, a quote and stuff like that when I was, like, back when I was remodeling my house and stuff like that. But, yeah. It is fine. It's hard to decide if you're sort of do things yourself versus hiring somebody. So the way that I do it is if it's going to take me more than a few hours, I just hire somebody. Or if it requires, like, extreme technical skill. Um, or it could potentially, like, blow up my house or kill me. So basically, like, HVAC, I always hire out for electrical, like, plumbing, do it like most of the time as well because like it could do like so much damage to your house uh i th i mean i don't mind paying like prices like high prices not necessarily high prices but i don't mind paying like a you know paying somebody a good amount of money to do a good job the problem is is that you run into is that there's a lot of contractors who are super fucking shit at their jobs and uh they just charge like crazy prices anyway. And then you get like really shitty work for a really high price. So. All right. First game of the night. Get it, baby. Uh, I would rather, I'd honestly rather ban like consulate. I don't want to like, eh, whatever, fine, Sky. Ugh. You had to convince your dad to hire someone to do the garage or spring. He wanted to do it himself. Nah, like, nope. Unreal. There's a guy in Australia's job is to go to someone's house that's being built and points out all the defects. Uh, that's an inspector. Yeah, I mean, ideally that should be happening with like every home. That should be happening with pretty much every home. You should have... If you're getting a house built, you should have people inspecting it along the way. I mean, normally the city where you live, at least in the U.S., it's the way it works, or township or whatever, they will inspect the property as it's being built. You have to pull permits for, like, everything. Pull a permit for framing. Pull a permit for the foundation. Whatever. You name it. So, Yep. Uh, 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 ba -ba -ba. Yeah, garage door spring can kill you. That's probably one that I would hire out on. Honestly, I, I, there's a lot of things that I could do, probably just as good for the most part as most of the contractors that I've hired and stuff. Outside of obviously electrical, HVAC, and plumbing, because um, those are you know. All the other stuff you could learn pretty, you know, fairly easily on how to do it. It's, it's not super difficult. You buy the right tools. But the thing is, by the time you buy the tools, by the time you take the time to learn how to do it, by the time you actually do it, you know, you could probably just hire somebody and it's less headache, less time. You get the idea. You must locate and defuse a bomb. What I try to do is, like, if it's going to be more than a few hours, I'll just hire it out. I don't have, I literally don't have the time to just take, like, a weekend or, like, days of just, like, doing a project. It's, it's not feasible for me to do that.
Are you ace? Ready? Yeah, I'm a double thatcher. Ready, ready, ready? Just hit him, hit too quick. Yeah. <clears throat> He's active on him. This should open. Get ready to shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Don't kill him. He's trying to trick. Oh, okay. Right, I'm a thatcher. Oh, I don't even need to. Oh, hold on, I will. Top green. Very tag top green. Game's crashing. Oh yeah. Oh, it all tabbed random. I'm not even touching my keyboard. Someone explain this to me. Game just decided to fucking alt tab. I guess. Cool. Good stuff. <laughs> Done, Valdo. Drone to locate a bomb. Your drone has found a bomb. I'm chilling, dude. I'm chilling. Chillin', chillin', chillin'. Got a bunch of uh, errands and stuff done today. Five seconds before insertion. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location. Got a bunch of errands done. A whole bunch of shit to do. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna clean my garage out and like clean up outside and stuff like that. This way, I'm like prepped out for the summer and stuff like that. Pretty excited, dude. Not gonna lie, it fucking sucks, like in the winter here, so. It absolutely sucks. They should at least pop like part of the way. I don't know though. We honestly need to kind of. Probably gonna get partial tricked. Or fully. Did I get fully tricked? That guy needs to like go under and like bug or something. I got the guy top green. Okay, okay. Hold that guy in. I'm gonna try to like push like top green. You know if there's one top red or not? I'm not sure. I killed the top red. I think I hear one. Our teammate's there. top red. Oh really? He's a monitor. Find the monitor. Nice. Oh. You surprised the wall open? Yeah, I. I thought with all the tuber, I was like, you know, time. I, I thought 
I tried to do it. Like, I knew it was going to go off because I waited till, like, there's a split second, basically, between the tomorrow, like, uh, turning off and then the cage claws, like, reactivating. That if you throw a Thatcher, it'll at least open, like, the little hole that's there. If you time it right, actually, it opens the whole wall still. It's really hard to time that closely, but... Just got back from the gym. Me too, dude. I worked out really hard today by uh, going to Costco. I had a huge order. Huge order. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. You live in Chicago, so you're happy it's spring, and you know about the shitty winters? Uh, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Winter is fucking dog shit. So excited. Like, I, I got, like... I got meat. I got meat. I got my, my half a cow is coming in. Dude, the price went up a lot. I paid 310 hang weight on a 400 pound cow. Then it's 85 cents a pound processing. Price went up, dude. I still remember the first one I bought, I paid two bucks a pound. Two bucks a pound. So, 310. Times four hundred pounds. It's twelve hundred and forty dollars. You're gonna net about probably about like fifty-five percent ish of that four hundred. So you know you do like four hundred times like point five five. That's two hundred and twenty pounds net. So you're doing what was it like twelve forty? Divided by two twenty. It's like five oh, not to mention there's also I didn't even include it. It's going to be like $6 a pound because there's also 85 cents a pound in processing as well. But it is organic grass-fed beef, so that's part of the reason it's a little higher too. But even that, I paid 2 bucks a pound hang weight previously. I got two capkins. I think there might be one in gym. He's close. Oh, that guy was closet. He's dead. I'm really low, by the way. So I do have a drone. I can drone for you. Okay, I see his laser. He's gotta be like locker. He's yeah, somewhere over by like. I'm putting a drone in the hallway. Tell our teammates to watch it. I could probably drop and plant. Just cover. Like he's in bathroom or something. One of those two. Just stay above and not hold. He's in kayak, in kayak. I can tell you if he comes to main stairs. He's in sight. Oh, why are you get off the peak? Oh, rip. No, I was trying to hide and I accidentally fucking. What's up, BD? Cabinet. The diffuser has been disabled. Mission is a failure. Six dollars a pound for beef. I mean, dude, it's still a good deal. It's still a good deal. We got two and a half. Try and find grass-fed organic beef, like steaks and stuff like that, for six, like six dollars a pound or less.
it'll be pretty tough. Protect the bombs. Listen, Colin, I know you bought a cow. But you haven't bought a cow in a while. The beef prices have gone up a lot. You know the cow had to make barbacoa? Why didn't they give you that? I didn't watch the Red Wings game. What happened? Everybody keeps like telling me about it. Uh, I'll tell you the exact cost. So, it's three dollars and ten cents a pound hang weight. The hang weight on this one's four hundred. So let's do. I'm doing the exact math. Twelve forty. This will be well rough math technically. Uh, then you got it. So it's twelve forty plus, you know, eighty five cents a pound for processing. So that's what three forty. Another three hundred forty dollars in processing. That's fifteen eighty. And then you divide that by 400 pounds. Beef, or no, 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 no. 1580, it was divided by. Oh. I barely got it, but I just, I tricked it all. Anyway, so where were we? Uh, it would be like you net about 220, so it'd be 1580. Damn, dude, I paid seven bucks a pound on this cow. Seven bucks a cow, 710 a pound. That's actually really fucking high now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Then again, grass fed organic ground beef at like Costco, even, which is one of the cheapest places to get it. And ground beef's the cheapest meat for the most part. Uh, that is like over $6 a pound at Costco right now. You pay 10 pounds a pound for Wagyu grass fed from a farmer. I think you are just making shit up, but. That's net too. That's that's processed, packaged, like ready to pick up and take to the house. Seven bucks a pound. It's gonna drill though, dude. I still remember my first cow. I paid like under five, I think, a pound. That adds up, dude. Beef prices are fucking spiking. Evidently though, there's like there was a huge. Uh, I feel like it's always some fucking excuse, bro, with this shit. But there was, like, a big, like, drought, and there was huge fires in the south, which, like, killed a bunch of cattle. Ace is so bad for hard reach. Not really. It's still pretty good. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. So are the wings in the playoffs or no? You eat beef once a week at most. Now you got tired of it. Ah, beef is still good, dude. Uh, four located a bomb. Protect it. It's just gotta be prepared properly. Honestly, I gotta call out some fucking restaurants here. Like, random restaurants. What is it lately, dude, with restaurants making, like, like some restaurants have been making, like, the worst fucking possible yeah, chicken ever. Have you guys also had that experience? I don't know what it is lately, but there there have definitely been a few restaurants I went to. I'm not talking about like fast food or some shit. Where I'm talking, this this fucking this shit is absolutely fucking terrible.
They have a fucking sludge. I shot it. Look for the clutch. There's one more clutch somewhere. Oh, nice. That's huge. That's both clutches, then. Oh, in? Bathroom ready? Bathroom, bathroom. Last. Chicken breast. Chicken thighs are almost always good. Breasts can be different. But like I'm talking about like, dude, there's been there's been a few times lately where like I've been in a restaurant and I'm like, okay, especially by the way, bro, ramen places. There's been a lot of lazy ass ramen places. That's one place where I really noticed it. Like a reason for that? Wait, what happened? Like cause uh. So I'm sure you're gonna. was top of the leaderboard, but I got the animation for MVP. Uh, it's just bugged. I don't really know why, but yeah. That's weird. Hmm. Anyway, I've noticed this particularly with like ramen shops and stuff like that. Not all of them, but if you order beef, it's fucking great. It's like braised beef, super good. You order shrimp, obviously, it's pretty hard to fuck up shrimp instead of a ramen and stuff like that. Get the idea. Pretty much like all good for the most part, right? But for some reason, there's been it's been happening a few times now, a few di several different like like places. One place that I went to in Boston, I got ramen from this place and I got chicken on top of it. Okay, and then a place here that's in Detroit, I got like chicken on my run. Bro, it was fucking awful. If it tasted like it was like. You know, I thought like the chicken breast that's like super fucking hard because it's like refrigerated in the, like, the grocery store and it's like pre cut, pre cooked chicken. That's what it fucking tasted like. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't know, dude. It's just a trend I've been noticing at some restaurants. And there was another restaurant that I got like a sandwich at and it had the same type of chicken in there. Like, I wonder if there's like a supplier that's just like offering this shit. Uh, Juke Sharded, thank you for the six month resub. Welcome back. I don't get it, man. Like, I'm a chicken enjoyer. Chicken is overall my favorite meat. Done, Ringo. Like, chicken, like, chicken is the consistent. The consistent, like, it's a good eight to nine out of ten. Okay? Beef, like a really good steak or something, is the ten, right? But you don't want to eat it every day either, you know? expensive and uh i don't know it's just i don't know it ruins it if you eat it every day uh butter thank you for 30 month reset welcome back god you're so old how's the family everyone's doing well butter hopefully you are too they're buying costco rotisserie chickens and pulling the meat bro that sh that meat is better <sighs> okay one side chow be right back
Uh, how did we get backed out? Did someone join and then leave, probably? <sighs> Why did we get pulled out of queue? Someone join and leave or something? Yeah, someone join and immediately left. Motherfuckers that buy... Bone in, skin on chicken thighs cannot be trusted. Uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs are definitely the play. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs are for sure the play. They definitely are. What's up, Mr. Kerf? Would you like to play, buddy? Sure. Kerf is back from the woods. Let's go. <clears throat> Gun down them trees, aren't you? You know what I was just doing? Uh, doing my taxes. The last again. possible second. <laughs> Let's go. Bro, Zumi was more organized than you. That's fucking crazy. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought I did it already. So it was a what? complete panic. You forget that. Uh, she's got a lot of shit going on. How's the new Detroit sign? Uh, I haven't. I actually could have driven past it the other day. I was downtown. Actually, like two days in a row, I was downtown, and uh, I could have gone past it, but I was really close to it. But I did not uh, drive past it. Oh wait, uh, curve. curve. Oh, curve's not in here. No, I'm in. I am. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Deboning chicken is fun and easy. Fuck no, dude. Are you Same kidding me? This entire time. <laughs> That's like people. People confuse me. Like people that like grind their own meat. Like unless you like, I don't know. Get some fucking like, dude. Ground beef is cheap as fuck. I don't know. People are fucking high on that shit. Like ground beef is probably like the fucking cheapest thing that you could fucking have. It's done, Aaron. The chaos has ended. It's officially ogre. Earth said he literally just finished his taxes. He's the right now. Earth is that guy. I'm turtled, by the way. I'm turtled. You don't need gas 24-7, which is why you don't consume beef every day. I actually don't eat it. Yo, honestly, what happens most of the... Um, the hell? That's weird. You notice, uh... Okay, here's the thing. I do buy half a cow a year, but I never buy beef at the grocery store at all. Like, zero. I also never buy chicken at the grocery store, except for one grocery store. I buy, like, four cases. Uh, I buy four cases of chicken at a time. Two boneless, skinless thighs, two boneless, skinless breasts. Doesn't surprise you had four people come in today at 4.58. You still left at five. <laughs> Bro, who the fuck is going into a tax office two minutes before 5 p.m. on tax day? You use TurboTax? There's literally nothing wrong with TurboTax. Or there's actually like free filing software from the IRS. Or you could use TurboTax. Or whatever. I mean, if you, do, if you don't have complicated taxes, there's no reason... To like to use uh like an actual accountant if you have like complicated like a business or complicated investment portfolio or whatever, anything like that then yeah you should definitely use an accountant but if you just literally go to work you know you get a paycheck every week you know there's literally no point of paying for an accountant Is the reason why doing your own taxes is so complicated. They lobby to keep as many steps involved in the process as possible, supposedly, of course. I always see that being pushed forward. I don't really think that's the case, honestly. 
I think it's businesses and stuff. The more complicated that the... I don't know this for sure, okay? But my... my th Like, a lot of these different exemptions and stuff like that are related to, like, different businesses that will lobby for those specific things. And that harms smaller players when they're first starting out. Because unless you could afford to hire a high-powered accounting firm or, you know, an accountant, basically, to handle your taxes that knows all of the fucking details of the tax exemptions and whatever, all this different kind of stuff for your specific business, generally you'll get an accountant that specializes in that field, then it, it kind of makes it harder for those players to, like, grow, right? If they can't take advantage of the same exemptions. I think it's a mixture of, I'm sure part of it's accounting, you know, accounting firms and TurboTax, but I think a lot of it's businesses trying to keep their exceptions and stuff that are special to their businesses or their industry. There's industry lobbying groups for basically like everything. <laughs> TurboTax charges like $100. If you make less than like, I think it's like 80 grand a year or something like that, the IRS has free tax software that you can just use. It's completely free. And as long as you just, you know, like I said, if you just have like a job where you just get like a W-9 at the end of the year or whatever, then it's just, it's free. Uh. I think uh, Credit Karma also does free. I don't know if they still do, but they used to do free tax stuff as well. You're not even kidding me to say the cash app taxes is the best free one, the former credit karma taxes. Oh, that system I heard was pretty good before. That was the one that used to get pushed online a lot. You can even file if you have the right form you get from streaming at, oh, like 1099s and stuff. You'll show them all day, every day. No, oh, I don't know. If you only have a W-2 and a 1098, it's free. The minute you start any more than that, they charge also any more than that and people mess it up yep i would agree i would agree the thing is most the the vast majority of people like they just get a paycheck and like that's it every week so they just get a w-2 and like maybe they have a retirement account which you could definitely do that with either free or cheap software yourself but the second you start adding in like investments like side to bro like I, I the amount of money that i pay in fucking accounting fees every year is disgusting like it, i could fucking buy a car <laughs> like it's it's fucking nuts but i mean it's worth it it's a lot of shit that you have to do it's all complicated and he hot single dad they've eight months what's going on yo yo Um, the biggest thing is investments. I mean, for example, this year I had a previous, pre the previous year I bought four office buildings. Part of the previous year, it was actually more than it was. Fell into 22 for part of it as well. So it was a three year, technically three calendar year project, but it was really the course of like a year and a half. But some of the, the purchase price, interest on the property, expenses, sale of the property, it's, it's fucking a nightmare, bro. Like, is, there's no way I could do this shit myself. There's just no way. It's not even the streaming stuff that's as hard. The streaming accounting part is really not that hard. You just get a bunch of 1099s, you input them all, and that's it. The problem is, is if you have other investments and stuff like that. Also, if you move in and out of different investment vehicles, like all that kind of stuff. If you have a complicate, if you have complicated retirement accounts, all of that stuff is virtually impossible to do yourself. But, you know, or do with tax software either. 
No, I do quarterly payments, yeah, that I have. You gotta pay every quarter. Retirement account that I use is I basically, um, if you're an independent contractor and you make good money, by the way, you can look into this a little bit. Uh, obviously, consult your, you know, your uh, account, account, you know, accountant and stuff like that. Because I'm not an expert on this stuff. Maybe Aaron will be able to tell you a bit more about it. But you could basically form, if it's your own company, you could form your own pension. So you know how like pensions are gone because they used to be so awesome? You could basically just form your own pension. Obviously you have to manage it and stuff like that, but, and it's not like someone, I'm the person funding it basically, but it's uh, you could do like a 401k and then the other thing is called like, it's like a pension plan or cash balance plan or whatever you want to call it. But it allows you to put like a lot of money into it every year acts deferred until you retire and then when you retire every you know all the money that you draw out of it you pay taxes on that's my understanding of it aaron will be able to probably tell you much better but uh, four located a bomb protect it uh, four last operator standing Oh, I didn't realize I was muted. You can essentially expense 25% of your payroll to a max of 30k. I think that's for the 401k portion, right? I think for the cash balance plan, you could do like a lot more than that. I'll have to like look into exactly what it's called. But it's, you could put like, I think it's, there's like a maximum number over like 10 years. Yeah, the other one's for like, basically you create a pension or cash balance plan. I think that one is... My lord. You could do a lot more. Okay. There's a cap on it. I forgot what it so, is. So, uh... Done, bro. Dude. So, Don't I'm need a pension if you never of, retire. Uh, For real. People, right? Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. And, uh... One of my dudes decided that he didn't want to show up. And so, he lived pretty close to where I was going to be, so I just drove his house, which I don't think he expected that. <laughs> Not many people use those, but yeah, you could do a lot with them, you don't get into those as much, yeah. And I walked into, <laughs> I, I mean, his, door, his mom answered the door. I, uh, I do that, so I max out my 401k every year, those. and I max out the cash balance okay, plan or whatever pension money. plan every single year yep. too so okay. hopefully one day i'll be able to retire <laughs> hopefully one day we not get the hat. No, we don't. it's also really complicated in that like there's like a there's like a hypothetical limit that you could put like a lot more into those plans per year, but then like if the investments perform well, then like you can't put as much in. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And then you have to pay for the plan to get managed every year as well. Kind of uh. But if you're if you earn on a 1099 and you have like good income, I don't know. Ask your accountant about that. Okay, 
Uh, left side of dragon. The fucking bird. On three. Two of them. Two of them. Both sides of dragon door. Both sides of dragon door. I got ash One's and fog. At the breach. One's going to the breach holes. <clears throat> Last stop standing. Last going 90. Like towards bathroom. I think this. Yeah, he's going to split door, split door. What? Oh, what split am I hearing? Door. Walking towards bathroom. Uh, I mean, I actually never want to retire. He's confused because he got like, shot. In he got shot in the foot through the drone hole. I honestly, I honestly never want to like <laughs> retire. I'm not even talking about like just streaming and stuff. I don't know. I I just like. Oh yeah, I I I'm. Dude, I watched it. <laughs> my my retirement is pretty good get shot in the foot. right now. Damn, I I actually I I've, I've been constantly. I had like a fireworks business that did really mm -hmm. well before streaming, and so I had retirement plans set up from that and built out more plans. You know, as the years went on, and I had more probably. investments and all that kind of stuff Red over Dubby. the years. So. Red I think Red Dubby is a fucking. But that just depends on the gun. George put it in his like C tier. Mm hmm. It is. Secure the bomb. Secure <laughs> as can be, buddy. Listen, some streamers and YouTubers have a, uh, you know, they fly on private jets and stuff like that. And fucking buy islands. I have a pre-funded oh, retirement. George, no, <laughs> George, stop. George, stop. George, stop. Put it, uh, okay. Oh my god, KG glitch, bro. There it is. Fixed it. Time on my sage. Remember the private island? I don't know, I'm just joking, obviously. But I definitely feel like, uh... I feel like streamers are honestly, for the most part, Mr... Like, Mr. Please. I honestly feel like, feel like the most part... Well, I feel like, not all, but, like, I feel like most streamers are fairly responsible and stuff, actually. I feel like it's really the YouTubers that are kind of, the. Uh, Zanwillies. Like I said, I've actually noticed nowadays streamers are getting more <laughs> like Lexi, like YouTubers and stuff are. But I felt like like before most streamers were pretty overall like low key, like you know. Like low key, they saved and invested their money and stuff, generally speaking. And we're not like, you know, really frivolous with it, like buying a bunch of like completely random shit that was like just, you know, crazy amounts of luxury goods and all that stuff. But I feel like now it's kind of like, I will say, it does seem like there's definitely a lot of streamers who are kind of going that route a bit. I don't even think like the expensive cars are as bad, but like people buying like real expensive jewelry and like everything being designer. Got this catch on the car. I think Overwatch. Bro, why are you running in front in front of me? This guy, who who is Bandit, bro? That's a random. Oh, random. This guy is such a jackass. It's crazy. He literally just got me fucking killed. <sighs> Oddly enough, I don't know Nick Mertz, even though I, th I heard he's from Michigan originally too.
You didn't even go to college for accounting. You went for cybersecurity and business administration, double major. You have your master's in both. You ended up in an accounting firm. Well, damn. Hmm. Uh, you guys want to go for, like, barrels or maintenance? Um, like personally, I, I like barrels more. I like taking yellow wool, I'm going to be honest. Like, I feel like yellow might be a little bit much for not having a five stack, though. Yeah, we, we need, like, control for, like, lab 90 and above. The majority of designer shit is for poor people who are trying to look rich. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some of that. Maybe some of that. I think the real thing is, is that people that are, like, actually have a lot of money and stuff like that. Like, there's always this thing about, like, have you guys ever seen that stupid fucking Dave Ramsey clip where he's like, you wouldn't know the millionaire. They're just driving a lightly used Toyota and have modest clothing and whatever else. And it's like, bro, that's like... You said you don't drink a lot of other Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the real answer is, like, I know a pretty good amount of different people who have, like a lot of money and stuff like that. And there's some people who are just super fucking laid back and they just drive a whatever car and they wear whatever clothes and they don't care. And I know other people who are super wealthy and they they have no debt at all. And they're fucking dripped out from head to fucking toe in designer clothing. And they're old money. Their fucking great, great grandparents had money. So it's like, it's not really like, there's the, th this is the thing. If someone's actually fucking loaded, they do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> like, that's it. Because they're fucking rich as shit, and they don't care. They either wear Maz clothing because they don't care, or they're into designer clothing and they wear expensive stuff all the time. That's the real answer, is that you have the money and the freedom to do whatever you want. I drone left eight. One's an arcade hall. There's a, there's, on, on the black box, there's a trap. I, I fucking hate that guy. I want to take him down so badly. Like, he's just so useless. He's getting hard carried and, like, is running around, like... I... Waiting here. Do waiting. Hey, if you come around bunk side, like, arcade, you can get wall. Yeah, we get wall. Or... Yeah, there's two right here. The doctor and the zombie. Also a leech. Anything? Yeah, uh... Eager's tagged up. Where, where? Call, call. Eager's like right here. Where, where is right uh, here? Okay, uh, waiting, waiting. Yeah. You just want me waiting, Chad. One out of four remaining. Yeah, our one random though is... Trying to pass. This guy's standing still in front of me and... Trying <laughs> I don't know, our teammate is driving me crazy. Are they friendly and fair? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, do I get my clothes from Costco? Honestly, I don't care about clothing, really. Like, I do have some nice stuff, like, for, you know, weddings and events and stuff like that or whatever, but no, I'm not into designer clothing. I'm not into clothes, really. I don't really see the point in it. But I don't look down on anybody that buys that stuff. It's fine if you want to. It's It's your money, you know? You want to buy it? That's up to you. It's not my fucking money. Buy whatever you want. <laughs> That's it. I'll buy what I want. You buy what you want. And we're all happy. But yeah, to me, clothing, jewelry, doesn't do a thing for me. Doesn't do a thing for me. Travel is the best expense. I actually spend very little money on travel as well because... Because of streaming, I get to travel, like, probably 6 to 12 times a year to, like, pretty cool places and get paid to go. So, I don't even spend any money on travel either. Uh, 
Ember Rise. Dream of the range player. You have to travel a lot, but you have to pay for it. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I have, uh... I don't know. What's what's my thing that I spend money on, I guess? Uh... Investments? And my house. I spend, I spend money on my house. A lot of money on my house. There's been a lot of things that I've done that are pretty costly. Don't donut. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I got one for us. Yo, juicy. Do you have anybody donut, or are you so nice. are you solo? Did you see that? Like, uh. Hello, donut. Hello. I was drilling curve. Did you see George dripped out with a KG chain? No. <laughs> I don't know see, man. Absolutely I don't not. Know been. But even any investments nice. in a diversifying is probably the smartest. You just love travel. Oh, I mean, living life. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. The only thing I really spend I money on is like, SATs, so. oh, yeah. like really yeah, just, you just my money. house. I guess. Uh, do you? I guess that's my like thing where. Back soon? I mean, I guess your house kind of is an investment to an extent, but not the things that I've spent money on. I mean, I, I guess hype, I, I don't plan on moving either. So, like, hypothetically, if I ever sold it, the thing is I've gone, like, really nice with everything to the point where, like, you wouldn't get the same value out of it. Allergies, it's been get they've been getting better every day. Today, it's, like, way better, honestly. Yes. I probably could have bought another house with how much my money I spent remodeling my house. I definitely could have bought another very nice house. But I don't mind. That's This is where I am majority of the day. You know, almost all day, every single day, this is where I am. Right? I work here, live here. I want my kids to be able to, like, live here when they're older and, uh, you know, not feel like they have to move out or whatever. Yeah. I mean, even like birthdays and stuff like that. <laughs> even birthdays and stuff like that, you know, we have them at my house, right? Like we don't go to like a restaurant or like Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. Everyone just comes here, you know? The only time we went out is, uh, the only time we went out for any birthdays or anything is for my wife's like 30th birthday. We did go to like a restaurant, but that was like literally it. Might as well make a knife if you spend most time at home. Yeah. Like, the only time I go out is, like, grocery shopping or to run errands. Visit my parents or my wife's parents. Pretty much it. Other than that, like, we're home most of the time. Even most of the time, like, my parents will come over my house. Or uh, my, you know, mother-in-law and father-in-law will come over my house. Like, my, you know, siblings and my wife's siblings, they come over our house. Like, you know? I want to. Ha it's nice to have like enough space and nice areas and stuff like that. Should I just queue. Oh, should I just queue it, or do we have a fee? Yeah, queue it. I might have a fist for us after a game. Okay. Oh so, yeah. That's basically that. Playing with like a bunch of those. That's that's basically the only thing that I really care about. Just want a nice house. That's it. I do like cars and stuff too. But, uh, I don't know. They're not as necessary. They're, like, a huge waste of money. But I do like them. I do like cars a lot, though. I'm a, Yeah, I'm a big homebody, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely a big homebody. Like... 
there was there was I sort of obviously it's not as much now, but like now I go out pretty much every not every day, but like a lot because there's normally like a few days a week that I go grocery shopping for my wife to pick up like a few things. Um uh I did get I did get a very nice car. It'll be it's gonna take a little while to come in. I got a very nice car coming in. I don't I I'm I'm actually very excited for when it comes in. Pretty good. Uh, it'll it'll be a little bit though. It's gonna take about a year to come in. It's a custom order. <laughs> So it'll be about a year. Uh, but I did not pay over sticker. Not pay over sticker. Prius, yes. I still have my pickup truck. Yeah. We actually only have one car right now. It's just just the pickup truck. That's it. Just the pickup truck. It's like four years old now. So, but I mean, I bought it new. It's reliable, so I don't really feel the need to. Uh, I don't really feel the need to uh, buy anything else for now. Which car have I spent the most on repairs? I haven't really had any repairs on any cars yet. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, oh. like half of my audio is gone, just that old. Now you got it back? And so, yeah. yesterday, the cord, like, fully actually broke. Like, it just was, like, snapped. Um, and I would have to hold it together to be able to hear anything. Did you guys actually uh, hear about the Cybertrucks? So Evidently, they got recalled because they're, like, somehow they're accelerating into fucking, like, and you can't stop it. It's actually fucking cool. Oh, he's back. I don't know, he's back. Uh, uh, uh. I was say, if he's canceling on a legit match, that's sad. Hmm. Do, 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 do. So, it's... I'm not sure if I need trap offs anymore. Because I used to play trap offs for audio. Okay. Well, um, on your like main desktop, did you like set your audio for the game specific? Uh, yes. Well, like, it's the same exact headphones, it's just I swapped the wire. That's all it was that broke. Are you plugged into a DAC or anything? Yeah. Protect it's, the bomb. There's a 2023 Tesla Model 3 near 24k miles for 26k. It's actually not bad. <clears throat> the Cybertruck. I mean, I think if the Cybertruck was like a fairly like reasonably priced vehicle, like it was supposed, they were supposed to be 40 grand, right? Like when they came out. Like if the Cybertruck was actually like forty grand, I'm I would have maybe considered like, oh okay, like that's like a decent car, like it's forty thousand for the Cybertruck, like it's a little bit fucking quirky, not really like it looks like a fucking warthog basically, you know. But like okay, unique looking car for forty grand, okay. 
for for context, for, for those that are not familiar with it, the average new car price right now is a, is a bit over 40000 I'm pretty sure. I haven't checked it really recently, but it was at over 50000 at one point. I think it's in the mid-40s now. So, you know, you're talking like average new car price, basically, to get a unique-looking vehicle that's different. But now they're like, dude, they're like 70 fucking grand. They're seventy thousand dollars, and they're pieces of shit. Like maybe for forty grand, right? You could put up with a couple of like weird quirks and problems and stuff like that, and be like, all right, like, well, it's forty k, and it looks pretty cool, and it's fucking whatever, bulletproof and shit. Looks unique, whatever. You can maybe fucking justify it, right? But for like, they're like what? 70 to 100,000 uh, now or something? You could be it. You could be Tesla Brothers with uh, Almir and Almond Colin. Congratulations. I'm going to pre congratulate you on your purchase. He's in ya. He's planting. I got him. He's dead. That's planner. Ivy Hall. This is it. Piano's low. Piano's low. Dead. I doing? Why am I throwing to a baiter? He's outside the breach. Just ping him. He's not even gonna try to win. Just don't peek him. Yeah, he's literally still at the breach. This is pathetic fucking behavior. C80 if they haven't released info yet. Yeah, I did it's not a ZR1. Not a ZR1. I won't I won't blue ball. I, I won't blue ball. I got a uh I got a Porsche 911 GT3 RS like fully loaded with every single option. So and I I didn't pay over sticker price for it, but I am gonna have to wait about a year to get it. So that is what I got. I wasn't gonna, didn't want to spend that much on a car, but I was able to get one at sticker price with no markup at all. So I basically said, fuck it. So that's where we are. But it'll be about a year and it'll be in here. Hopefully sooner. They said it might be like nine months, so. Like nine months. Should be nice. For a ZR1, bro, every single ZR1 is gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be an incredible car when it comes out, but there's. 
They're all these dealers are like out of their minds. I had a so I I had a Corvette C8. So I'm a previous Corvette owner. Okay. I have a relationship with this dealership that I had bought vehicles from them in the past and all this kind of stuff. And my dad had bought a ton of vehicles from them in the past. The best that they would offer me, every dealership was charging like 50 grand over for the Z06. And the best that they were able to do for me was like 25,000 over sticker. And that was like as a like courtesy, they called it. So... Yeah, I'm not going to pay that much over a sticker for a Corvette. But you really have to just push your... Uh, Be advised, so, so. Op 4 has located a bomb. Is down the bottom are, you, are you watching our trench right now? Check your lobby. Yes, I'm watching trench game. Be a good trend. That's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, Backside. I'm four ping. Is he at the door? Hold up, brother. Oop. Where is he? Left side, right side? Should be right side. Shot the cam. Last seen left side. Could have gone right. He's bottom last. This guy is such a baiter, it's insane. Like you are fucking god awful. Other guys are random he knows he's so. got a one in sight. <sighs> are we gonna throw this? Inside, go and rotate. Side rotate. Yep. He's shot the cam. That's there. I don't think it's a fuse. The fuse is the main breach. He's gonna push you. Yeah, he's going to rotate right I'll now. Call, he's I'll rotate call in wine. We have a camera. Please stop talking. There's one, there's one on A, pushing you. Can't see. Shot the cam. This guy runs and First shoots time, every Valkyrie camera, the but then garage. doesn't shoot the default. Sure thing. Sure thing. <laughs> he is raked in. Can be. They get to try him some. Five seconds to go. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is such a loser. I'll play like a pussy anytime I need to. You know, what's, you, know what's, you know what's wild about this guy too? He went and shot every fucking Valkyrie camera that I threw, but then didn't shoot the default. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> w man, W man. I'm good with both. Yes, I like bar more, but both you uh, either one's fine. I like both. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Okay, drill. I'm like. Hearing footsteps, mm, mm, I just mm, normally hear and try to figure out where they're coming from. Yeah, being able to hear is quite amazing. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. I heard this guy up an ivy when I was bottom main stairs. Uh, uh, uh. Driving a manual? Manuals are really fun. Please, 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 uh, boy! Bro, you're a troll. Mines are random. Dude, our world my is actually insane. That guy just started fucking teabagging me on last round. This guy has gotta be like a stream sniper or something. Probably. Oh, you're near? Yeah, he just he reinforced the wrong side of the wall in mine. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. And I've never even, like, that's the one wall that basically never gets fucked up. That's it, uh, like, right? Yeah, right. Oh no, that's the, like, yeah. mm -mm. I don't that's really fun. go to any car meets or events or anything, to be honest, no. Just look, look down the hatch if we can. I, I, there's one of my He's planting, he's... Okay. Well, you gotta just fight him, bro. Like... Oh, 
leg. Well, I'm gonna close off the shit. Right, this guy just swung Call, call. Right. Uh, how does he walk in the closet and kill the guy on the mirror? Hello? I don't, our, I'm pretty sure our teammate is just trolling. He put the mirror on the fucking wrong side and like... You, you gotta fucking move up there. Like, if that guy's planning, like, you gotta fucking go. You cannot just be like... If there was one on the window, I didn't... Don't be a coward. Go and fucking try to kill him. Like, he only had a little slit in the window. Walk up and blow his head off and then kill the planter. Or just run up and he won't shoot you and then you kill the planter. I was trying to place his army so I could safely get there. Yo, peek him. Peek him and win. Horrible. Yeah, you're right. Bro, that was the most cowardly shit I've ever seen. So, Dr. That's Dr. Enzi. Like, just peek him. Like, run off. up there. Yeah, fucking fry do? his shit. Kill the planter. Or, he, the guy was so scared on the window, he jumped away. Damn a Solus. Elman, you are the biggest bitch in human fucking history. I do not want to hear it. Five seconds before insertion. Mm-mm-mm. You must locate and defuse a bomb. Just open the window, maybe? Yeah, they just cracked. I don't think they did it on purpose. I think they were just shooting. Alright, we're taking library. Yeah, he's behind this zombie barricade. Is he? Yep, he's literally sitting on it. Yeah, he's right on. Can we uh, get some more people over here helping with this? I'm gonna take this. It's on the head holes. Closet. That's a zombie dad. Nice. I don't have any drones. Any drones? There's a, someone's drone is literally right here. I have used prior. No, no head holes on this quad wall. Yeah, it's not gonna look good right now. Hello? Main stairs maybe? Lobby, 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 lobby. Yeah. I'm in bar, I'm bar, I'm bar, I'm bar. He's stuck in bar right now. You get a burn on the swords? Dad, he's dead, he's dead. You got the guy below? Okay. Shoot the blue cam too, I did not shoot that. I shot it. Okay. Uh, and the Lucy were both Pretty sure this guy's piano. Watch out, this guy might still be like bathroom or something, I don't know. Can we plant the bomb? Yeah, get a plan, get a plan, get a plan. I'm putting cross. Bathroom dead. The diffuser is now secured. Watch our like flanks. Don't go don't push too deep. Where is he? Nice. <sighs> Look at that wolf. Oh. There's actually, I know you guys are talking about like a manual Tesla, but there's actually like a big push uh, to, uh, what's it called? Uh, there's like a massive push right now to make like a electric car with like a manual transmission that feels like an actual manual. Uh, I'm chillin' wolf. Chillin' chillin'. I feel so aware right now. <laughs> yeah, the audio. Send Jung.
Yeah, my old earbuds. Ear it took me a long time. He is right. But one day, like I had one earbud in, and I was like, huh, this audio is horrible. That kind of suck right now, huh? Tesla is for sure a car for someone who loves tech and cars and simple things is why you love yours. Okay. I'm gonna cut off I don't think most there. people that buy Teslas are generally really yeah. uh, far people for the most part. Uh, you guys take big garage. I'll take West Main. Yeah, I'm going to try to like distract them. Hopefully, sure. Hopefully a random opens up snowmobile. Five seconds. I mean, a Tesla at this point, I actually feel like they're pretty, like, decent cars, like, economically. Especially if you live in, like, California or something. Or if you have, like, solar or, an ex you know, yeah, it depends. Sure. If you live in a place that has, like, cheap electricity. Like, this is, this is what bothers me about people in this game. Like, this guy is baiting his brains out every round on the F2. And then just, like, it's like now, now he's, like running out trying to swamp me with like lesion who has like i don't know eight people how did i not just pick up the bomb luckily that guy's horrible that's cave all right we can't open anything else up so what do you mean we have an ace oh i'm fucking fine yeah yeah give me a sec there's a solace on like peaking snowmobile I do have some bird, by the way. Okay, I'm back, side. Where that soul is going, man? I'm on your way. Sure, where'd soul is going from? You can ignore him and just go down. Let me hear, let me hear. There's one in blue. I have a can over here, but I don't see any. I, I, I'm trying to work some bird holes. Yeah, this guy's in blue. Smart. Blue, Goyo. That sounds pillar. You might be able to shoot the bird. Uh, you got 18 solar panels installed on your house? Main. That's sick. Hello? Wait, that was the guy. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do solar on my house not now but like whenever I end up redoing my roof at some point which will be I don't know maybe in like five or ten years I'll end up doing solar when I do that too. What a pillar! I think if I have solar at that point, then I'll be pretty sold on like I hear getting an electric car. I mean, right now the problem is with most of the electric cars, I'm like kind of like maybe like down to i would maybe be down to get one but then i just like i don't know the resale values are fucking garbage on them that's like one of the worst things so a lot of times when i buy like cars and stuff i try to buy cars that have like good resale value or if they have a cheap lease that also works um and that's very much just not the case with like any electric car right now like electric cars uh tank dude my uncle bought an audi e-tron uh he bought an audi e-tron it was like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars motherfucker cars are not investment you will lose money but you will probably never lose more money than you will on an electric car that's the thing like there's differences of like fucking of depreciation like my my uncle bought an Audi e-tron. I think it was like a he got like a fully loaded one. It was like a hundred and like thirty grand or hundred and forty grand. It he got it like a year ago, a year and a half ago. He has like fifteen thousand miles. I think he's selling it for sixty k, and it's not even selling. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like there's there are zero gasoline powered cars that that is gonna happen with. So like, I'm a loser. George, do we want a uh, fifth or zoomy play? Okay. Uh, 
can zoom me here. He's deafened. I don't know. What do you, want? you playing Zoom? No. Okay. okay. Sorry about your fifth. I'm getting, uh, yeah. I'll bring it back. Sorry, now that he's gone, you want me to play? Why does he want to get rid of it? He is rake dancing his Uh, I don't know. He just, <laughs> he's just pretty loaded and he just buys new cars all the time. Uh, Goofy, thank you the 47 month three sub. Welcome back. Old, thank you very much, Goofy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Even like Tesla's tank can value a lot too. What do you mean, Alman? That doesn't even make a difference. You're saying that like it doesn't matter. If you have a fucking car. Like, why would you not want a car that's going to hold its value better when you're buying a car? <laughs> Ideally, right? The average age of a KG stream is to be like upper 20s, low 30s. We're all old here. Pretty much. Yeah. Right for the now. most part. <laughs> But what am I supposed to buy? Would you prefer the car to gain or stay idle in value? No shit, that wouldn't stop you from buying a car. I mean, if I have the option of buying two different cars, and let's just say that the car is, for example, just for easy math, so we can do these percentages very easily, $10,000, okay? And one of the cars after two years is gonna be worth five grand, and one is gonna be worth fucking eight grand. That's a big fucking difference. Or if you talk now, pump that fucking value up. If you're buying a hundred thousand dollar car, that car is gonna be worth fifty thousand dollars or eighty thousand dollars. It's not an investment, but you're also just not gonna lose as much money either when you sell the car at some point. Eventually, at some point, you're probably gonna sell the car. And when that comes, like, that's the problem right now is, like, after the war... Ba basically, the reason a lot of these electric cars are, like, fucking crashing on value is because... And I'm not against getting an electric car. Like, I would still buy one, potentially. But as soon as the warranty is gone, like, people get scared that, like, if they have to replace a battery pack, it's, like, 30K. Or if they have to replace, like, major components in an electrical car that's not covered, like... There's a few things in an electrical car that are, like, super expensive to replace. Can I stream the car delivery? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We shall see. got a warranty for seven years okay that's fucking great for you i'm explaining why the values of the vehicles are not like holding has any common car held its value in 10 years Okay, why don't we look at the difference of, I don't know, a fucking Toyota Camry that's 10 years old or like a Toyota like Corolla or a Honda Accord or Civic compared to a Tesla. All of them 10 years old and then look at the difference in depreciation. You do not have a Camry. You have a fucking Tesla.
It's your sidecar. You magically just have an extra vehicle now. Oh, Benos, Benos, ah! Holes. Good. I don't know who the fuck banned this oak, to be honest. Man, that is a troll. You should use Osa. I'm never gonna play Osa. Do that sounds like a you problem. Wait. All right, so you're gonna play Osa every round now, right? That's that's your operator on attack. Have fun. We two v five no. once, George, because I played Osa. Do you remember that? It just mm -hmm. sounds like. Donuts on Osa. No, I'm on the Ayana on awkward though. <laughs> Going <laughs> invisible. <laughs> Camry is nine years know, old. Man. Its value dropped from twenty k to nine k. Uh, I don't believe you. How many miles does it have? Two hundred fucking thousand or something. I got it. Was it used already? You haven't driven it in like three years. Put an Osa shield on that uh the window on the sunrise window. Yeah. Oh, never mind. We're getting canceled on. <laughs> I would like. I would like you to provide. The fucking sticker price of the vehicle. We need to locate a bomb. There is there is no way <laughs> you are out of your mind. Or why? Okay. Did they say yes? Yeah, they said yes. Your drone has found a bomb. I don't they said they're gonna they cancel or no? Something. They're probably yeah, they're not going they're probably trolling so that'll be team gal or they're not setting up the site. Or whatever. Ooh. Just play it like normal until the game actually gets cancelled. Well, I fucking hate coastline, so this is great. Yeah, facts. This is like... I hate you, Kurt. Insertion. Oh, Insertion oh, in five oh. seconds. Easy for your kills on Aqua. Alright, a base Camry right now for that's 10 years old in 2014 original MSRP was twenty four thousand dollars? Okay. The diffuser is no oh. That same car is worth eleven thousand. Like, let's just call it eleven thousand. It's it's the original. The, the original MSRP was twelve twenty four thousand four hundred ninety four dollars. The fair purchase right. That's not a ten year old vehicle. How long is the has the Model Three hasn't even been out for ten years yet? Let's do the Model S. Tesla. Tesla Model S in 2014 at an original base price of $70,000. And let's see. Okay. 2014 Tesla Model S's. Bro, there's a fucking Tesla Model S that ha is, is fucking 14 grand. That was a seventy thousand dollar vehicle. Seventy. I'm, I'm pull, I pulled it up right now. Right now, the Ke the Kelly Blue Book fair market value for this would be brand new. This is with zero miles on the Camry. Is or hold on, let's see what this is. Let me see a used twenty fourteen Camry. I'll go on the same website so it's fair. It'd be on Edmonds. Okay, let's do Edmonds. All right. Inventory. Okay. A 2014 Camry, the cheapest one I could find is 10K, basically. Okay. Maybe I could find more if I keep going. The cheapest Tesla that I could find on the first, remember, I'm just going like first page qu really quick. 2014 model Tesla Model S, $14,000. So the Tesla in that time depreciated from $70,000 to $14,000. The Camry in that time depreciated from $24,000 to fucking like 12 grand or something like that. What is it? Yeah, 11 grand. Motherfucker, I'm explaining why People, I'm explaining why electric cars, I'm explaining why electric cars are like losing a lot of value. That's it. I'm saying that's the reason that people 
like right like that's like a, it's a big fucking factor dude you're buying a seventy thousand dollar car that in 10 years is worth 14 fucking grand or you buy a twenty four thousand dollar car that in four that in 10 years is worth fucking 11 grand what do you mean i'm diverting you're a fucking moron How did I get proof? I just, I just gave you the exact fucking numbers. Oh my god, you're actually so dumb. It's insane. Hellman's just a moron. Now he's fucking, now he's fucking, you're saying that I'm diverting, you're fucking diverting. You're like, yeah, fucking, let me tell you something. Fucking things. Back 2014, Teslas were horrible, terrible build quality, shit into you, shit tech, etc. Motherfucker, that's like, what do you fucking mean? You're actually so dumb. I'm gay. like, Teslas are actually shit, though. I would agree. There is no way your car dipped 5 to 7K. Motherfucker, you lost 15K on your car the second you bought it and Elon dropped the price 15 times. Hellman, it's okay to admit that you got fucked. It's fine. My whole point is, unless, like, I, I think right now it's a tough, I mean, there's a reason that the values, there's a, there's a reason that the values, have, that they drop so hard. You pay, like, 100 plus thousand for an EV, you get half of it, half back in, like, a year, two years, three years. Dude, look at the, if you go look at, like, the Porsche Taycons, I mean, obviously these are higher, more expensive vehicles. The, the Mer like honestly the Mercedes are fucking look like shit but whatever you look at the fucking Mercedes uh EVs even a lot of Teslas and stuff like that they fucking shit themselves in value within a few years because nobody wants to fucking pay to replace a battery down the line and like there's not like as much savings as people make it out to be especially if you have like Especially if, if if you, I think if you have solar, it's a fucking no brainer to have an electric car because you could like fill up or charge up for free, right? Or very cheap. I I get it, motherfucker. Okay, but most people don't live in an area where like solar is as viable as you do and has a fucking has fifty grand in solar panels to cover charging your car. To save $60 on a tank of gas. Scum bear. Go plow your fields. I don't live on a farm. And Osa, 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 Osa. God. Either Clash or Fenrir, I don't care. This one. Fenrir. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be running Clash. Mm 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 mm.
Oh, milk your cows. You want frosted flakes? Oh, my God. George's car is taking value because he lives in Detroit and it gets keyed twice. I did, my shit's not getting... Okay. George's hate you guys for are idiots. Like the hate I have for Dokabi. <clears throat> All right, gamers. Uh, for below, I'll open dirt. For top, farm life is probably the best type of life. Trash. I would agree with that. Best. Daddy's money is all you think of when you see Alvin's name in the chat. Real? Will the Red Wings make the playoffs? I hope so. If they make it, I actually might try to make a game. I might try to. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Or you don't live in a place where the weather makes it worth like you live in a Montana and so you have 30. I mean, you could, that's, that's like honestly a myth for the most part. Most electric cars are like decent and stuff. And like, look, I mean, as of right now, I would probably stick with a gas vehicle for myself personally. Cause like, I don't drive that much. And like, you know, there's the, I would never really realize the savings of having like an electric vehicle and the resale value is like terrible on uh, an electric car okay so it doesn't make any fucking sense and i i keep cars for like this pickup truck is is besides my first car that i ever had is the longest i've ever kept the vehicle i normally don't keep cars more than like a few years i buy cars that i either lease them with cars that have good lease rates or cars that uh have really low depreciation and then i sell them after like a few years like two three years whatever Window. No, you, you uh, oh, you're good. Good. I got wall banks. Radio radio. Yeah, they don't know they downed me, by the way. Um, can, can you like fall off, off or no, or like crawl in the, the corner? The okay. Yeah. Um, I'll try to cover, I guess. Take a chad. Radio door. One top red. Top red. Top red. Top red. He has a shotgun. Die top red. Yeah, he's right by the. He's not top red. He's a drone hole. He's still there. I. Yeah, I don't know where he is now. Honestly. Um. You gotta come up. This was a mistake. No, I I buy well, new, but I get like I get really good prices and stuff. I don't really buy honestly. Really, until recently, is the only team that I started like buying the time that I started buying vehicles. Before I used to just lease, like before, like the lease rates were so good. If you waited for deals on leases, you always got like a fucking great deal. I know now that sounds foreign to people, but dude, I was leasing cars for like a hundred dollars a month, two hundred dollars a month, like nice vehicles with like leather moonroof, like optioned out. If you just waited for deals, there were always really good deals on leasing. Obviously, I haven't leased a car in a number of years now because leasing fucking sucks, but. Right. In server. Got a little, like, There's a red tape, red hole. Leasing is was was great because you used to be able to basically have a. I, this sounds very foreign to people because like you like can't. Okay. Uh, like yeah, leasing is like always a, a waste basically. Uh, didn't you buy a C when it first came out? Then sold as soon as you just got it. Or was it the super? Uh, no, I got the C8. I didn't. Like, no, I didn't sell right away. I had my C8 for like, I sold it before the winter. I had a Supra and a C8, both. I bought those cars and I sold both of them and made like some money on them. Um, so yeah, but I I had them for like the Supra I had for like, I don't know, a year almost, maybe more. I had maybe I had it more for them more than a year. Why rent when you could buy it? Because a house generally appreciates in value. A car does not. A car is a, de a car is a depreciating asset. So like the best move is if you're really like not caring about reliability, not really caring about cars, whatever, is to buy like a 10-year-old car that's like well-maintained. You get the fucking idea, right? But if you want a car that's like not going to have any problems and has a set, is set in terms of cost, if you, before, if you leased a new car for $100 or $200 a month, that was like honestly if you made like decent money right you had good credit you were leasing a car for between 100 to 200 dollars a month 
Like, that was dirt cheap. Like, that was, like, the fucking move. If you needed your car to be reliable, and you didn't want to deal with any, like, fluctuating cost, that was a good way to go. I'll explain. Let's just say you buy a four-year-old car, like you're saying, okay? A four-year-old car is pretty much out of warranty, for the most part. Like, the warranty might still technically be there, but it won't be there for very long. Let's just say in two years. In two years, you're out of warranty on, like, almost every vehicle, basically, at that point. Because normally, like, the longest warranties are, like, five years. I think Genesis Hyundai has a 10-year uh, motor and transmission warranty, okay? But let's just go with most other cars. 10 years. Okay, let's just say, like, three years later, a few years later, two years later. Your car... Yes. Yeah, so okay. Motor motor fucking fries on your vehicle, right? That you bought that was four years old and you drive it for two years now, it's six years old. Congratulations. You now have something that's probably like I don't know, that's probably like a fucking six to ten thousand dollar repair on a fucking a full motor pull and a full motor like 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 replacement. Right, you're out of warranty. You're fucked. Like you have to pay that six to like, four, like four, six, ten grand. It depends on the car that you have. Right. Now, if instead you at least a car, how many motors do you know that are frying in a four year old car? It fucking happens, dude. It fucking happens. Okay. Or your trans going, which is thousands of dollars. Even if like your AC go, like I, I don't think people are like aware of how much it costs to fucking fix a lot of parts in a car. You know. And these things do happen. Okay, and I'm, once again, I don't think leasing is good now, but it used to make sense. It used to make sense. Let's just say you buy this car for $20,000, okay? The $20,000 that you would have paid on this car, and you keep it for 10 years till it's worth literally like 1000 2000 It's worth nothing, right? So $20,000, uh, you know, before you were paying, like, maybe if you buy a Mitsubishi. I, I mean, I don't... I feel like you probably have, like, a minimal understanding of, like, cars to the point where you're like, yeah, I work on my own shit, or whatever. Like, uh, or the thing is, it happens. It's a fucking fact of life. I'm sure you've never heard of anybody having, like, a trans fucking fail on their car or anything like that ever. That's completely foreign to you. It doesn't exist, right? You've never heard of a transmission or a motor blowing on a car, ever. That's, like, a few years old. You're out of your mind if you're saying that, or you don't know anyone, and you, like, live in, like, underground or something. <laughs> it, it, it absolutely happens from every car brand. Every fucking car brand. On a four-year-old car. On a brand new car, it happens sometimes. Yes. The fuck do you mean, bro? Like, what? <laughs> It fucking happens. Need to use your drone to locate a bomb. The car does not need to be old. Like it happens. I've I like I've known people who have heavy duty baby baby George's has shit car brands. I've never had a fucking transmission blow on me or a motor, but I know people that it has. I know people with heavy duty trucks who've had transmissions fail on a fucking brand new truck before. Brand new heavy duty trucks. I know people who have had Lexuses immediately have their fucking engine blow up in like 10,000 miles. It gets repaired under warranty, but it still fucking happens. Five seconds to insertion. I mean, you're just clueless if you don't think these things happen. You live under an actual fucking rock. Like, genuinely, you, run, you live under a rock. I mean, this is, this is pre-pandemic, pre-COVID. Like, this is insane. That someone thinks that... Oh, is, I'm pretty sure he's in kitchen. Yeah, he's, he's going kitchen window. On the hatch, brother. Where is this guy? He's in the corner. He's in the... I fucking blinded myself. I'm dead. He's, he's in the corner, bro. What are we fucking doing, dude? 
you only buy a Toyota. S- spoiler alert, it happens with Toyota too. There's there's the fucking brain damage I was waiting for. Happens with every brand of cars. The fact that you said I buy Toyota is some like weird badge of honor as if it was like super high quality and stuff like that is just absolute proof that you're purely clueless on what you're talking about. Absolutely clueless behavior. You're not going to argue with someone who leased a car. I'm not going to argue with somebody who's completely financially illiterate and has zero fucking clue. And then thinks that every car that comes off the fucking line from a factory has no issues ever, and especially six years down the line would never have problems. Holy fucking shit are you clueless. You have to be... There's no way anyone's this stupid. You must be trolling. Like, you actually have to be fucking trolling. Oh my god, you went from four years to six years. Yes, the person's example was, you said a four-year car. So if you're buying a car that's four years old, do you just buy the car and then immediately sell it the next day? No, you fucking, you keep the car for a few years and drive it, right? Then it becomes six years old. Your mom has a 2012 Toyota Corolla and that shit was recalled like four times by 2017. It's because it's all car brands, and people are fucking stupid. And the stupidest people, the most clueless people, are the ones that are like, yeah, Toyota's fucking absolutely the best quality. When Toyota hasn't been, like, the most reputable car brand in fucking years, dude. Years. It's been literally over, like, a decade since, like... It's been, like, a, literally a decade since Toyota was, like, the most reputable car brand. Probably fucking more. Probably closer to 20 years at this fucking point. Japan-made Toyota's like are better quality than U.S.-made cars. Uh, I don't... Toyota in particular is like roughly like middle of the pack for most reliable cars nowadays. Lexus, I will agree with you, is genuinely, generally speaking, the most reputable car brand. Lexus is what people think Toyota is. And before you say they're owned by the same company, I'm aware. They're not built to the same quality. And if you think they are, you're completely clueless once again. There is a reason why Lexus costs a lot more. They're built to a different standard. They have a different level of part bidding. I will say, Lexus, still very reliable. Toyota, not so much. They're literally middle of the pack. They've, they've had literally a mass amount of major recalls lately. Pay your, le- your Genesis for a Lexus. Genesis is generally pretty reliable, too, for the most part. They're generally up there. One's blue, I think. Uh, in Both in church? Or no? Yeah, they were in church. This knows in there? Okay. These guys all friendly. They were there, too. Dude, they literally use the same platform. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I'm sorry. You are literally clueless and have zero idea. I just explained to you what part bidding is and stuff like that. And the different levels of inspection. The different tolerances that they have for parts. These are things that you literally don't understand because you have three brain cells. And it's the difference in the quality of the vehicle. (laughs) It's the difference in the quality of the vehicle. That is literally why. Yeah, there's just no way there's anyone that's this stupid. It's called, it's basically, it's basically, it's called part bidding. Basically, there's a, there's a certain, there's certain tolerances that they will have for Lexus is a perfect example because this is what we're talking about, right? Tolerances in whatever point, whatever, whatever, I don't know. One is an ideal number, right? Where it's perfect, right? Where there shouldn't really be any issues and stuff like that, right? 
If it's over a certain amount, it's probably going to break. If it's under a certain amount, it's probably going to break. And there's normally a certain level of tolerances, okay? So let's say it's 1.5 or it's 0.5, it's going to break. Lexus might keep their tolerances between 1.1 and 0.9, whereas Toyota's tolerances are much lower. It might be like 0.6, so it's just above that point where it's going to break, or 1.4, where it's going to above, it's going to break. But you might get one that's perfect because it's just they don't bid them and care like care for it as much. That's why the vehicles are cheaper. They does this make sense, or are you too stupid to fucking like? Are you too too stupid to take this in? Some, oh, somebody else like to host. Yeah, give it to me. Give it to Ethan. I need a invite. Hence, this is why the reliability ratings for Lexus are consistently the highest in the automotive industry they're either first or second every single year okay that's why toyota generally ranges from about the 50 percentile maybe sometimes top third oh my god you have severe brain damage there's nothing that can help you i just explained all this for you and your your response your response is your years of car manufacturing experience are paying off I do actually, you know what's actually funny? I do literally live in Detroit where there's a bunch of automotive suppliers. I literally know people who own automotive suppliers who supply parts to Toyota and Lexus. That's crazy. You could ask anybody here that works for an automotive company and they'll tell you the same fucking thing. Or there's this crazy fucking website. It's called google.com. It's called Google.com, and you could fucking look this information up because it's publicly available. Holy fucking shit. Check that out. I'm Rick from the Pawn Stars. I, know. I do know a lot of fucking people, actually. I genuinely do. Who did we lose now? Yeah. We're remaking or something? I can't accept an invite for some strange reason, so I'm going to... Curve is broken. Right? All right. I'm That's done arguing you know. this morning. I'm just getting fucking severe brain damage. Anyway, back to the original right. point of the conversation. I don't think leasing makes sense now, hence the point why I haven't leased a car in a number of years. Back in the day... If you were able to get good leases for like $100, $200 a month, you had set costs that you were paying for the vehicle. You were either paying like $1,200 to $2,400 uh, a year for a vehicle, right? You had no chance of anything fucking happening, okay? Anything that happens, you have a bumper to bumper. You, normally, you get like a two-year lease, 20,000 miles for that price. Bumper to bumper, the car was covered. Any vehicle that you bought. So if it was from an unreliable brand and they had to give you a rental car. So no matter what, you had a running vehicle every time that was new, okay? You would come in. You would buy. You would walk in, you know, go lease a car. You had your set cost, okay? It, let's just say you bought a car that was originally $30,000. It was four years old. You bought it for like I don't know, fucking 20 grand four years later or something like that. You're driving it. If you have anything that happens to the car, right? Not to mention you have to fork over, you have to fork over $20,000, right? So $20,000 times, for example, 6% interest right now that you're kind of getting out there, right? That's fucking $1,200 a year in interest that you're getting. Maybe back then it wasn't as good. Let's just say you got like 3% back then because interest rates were not as great, okay? Even still at 3%, that's $600 a year, right? That you were, and you didn't have that money that was locked into that vehicle or you were paying a car note at like 6 7% interest, right? On this vehicle, if you were paying payments, okay? So either locking the money up, not able to use it into a depreciating asset. Not to mention that car is probably losing two to $3,000 in value every single year which you could have been just driving a brand new car every year for the same price. You see what I'm saying now? Once again, I don't think that it makes sense anymore. I don't think that it makes sense anymore. But I think back in the day it did, when there were, when lease, lease prices were better. Nowadays, no, I don't buy, I don't lease cars anymore. It doesn't make sense. You just got to fucking do the, the math on it. And see if it if it if it makes sense. That's literally all it is. 
to immediately think there's just one way to do things that you must like buy a car leasing is a waste is a fucking mindset of a moron genuinely you always have to be open to fucking any idea fucking run the numbers do the math consider all the fucking different outcomes and situations that can happen and then make a fucking decision <laughs> Fuck you, Zoomy. You know what I did today? What's that, buddy? <laughs> I uh, had to replace a oil filter housing gasket on a BMW. Mm -hmm. And I was impatient, dude. It was like 70-something degrees out today. It was super beautiful. And I just wanted to work on my car. So I gave it like 20 minutes to cool off, thinking that would be enough time. That was not enough time. That coolant was not cool. Okay. <laughs> and I popped the hose off and I fucking burnt the shit out of my hand. I had gloves on too, so like it stuck to the gloves. Ooh. I tried to fling them off my hands and I was like jumping up and down. I'm like, no, no, no! They like burned really through the glove shit. completely? No, I didn't like. It was just hot liquid being trapped by the glove. Oh. Pain. Yeah, it was just like a little first degree burn. What were you trying to do, Zoomy? Uh, oil filter housing gas. Uh, 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 coolant line off to get to two of the bolts. Gotcha. Or one of the bolts. Because I popped it off. And it was still on like the I said, I don't think in the current situation, hmm. I don't think, once yeah, again, like right when I the don't think it's off, worth leasing. If we get back to the point yeah. where cars are $100, $200 a month, <laughs> right? Yeah, man, I think it's it, worth it, but we're not there. <laughs> right now, our values are high. They generally like hold their value pretty well. Um, so, you know, and leases are expensive as shit, dude. They're very expensive right now. Relieve the pressure, just so it doesn't do anything weird. Like, nah, I'd be fine. I wasn't fine. I mean, some people just lease cars because they just want to lease a car. I'll give you an example. Um, I have uh one of my friends. He makes very good money. Like, he's a he's a doctor, okay? And, like, you know, we used to have, like, a me and my group of friends, we used to basically, like, pretty much, like, alert each other anytime there was a crazy car deal so that we could all jump on it, especially if, like, people's, like, leases were expiring. We have, like, a group chat. We fucking talk about a run bunch of random fucking bullshit, but our leases used to get thrown in there all the time, right? One of my friends is a doctor, he still is continuing to lease cars now. He just does not care. He leases expensive luxury cars and just does not care. Financially, it doesn't make any sense, but he just wants to fucking walk in every two years and just buy an, and just have a new car. And he just doesn't give a fuck. He's making really good money and he just doesn't care. And I think those are the only people that are leasing cars right now. Or there actually are some like electric vehicle like car hacks. And stuff like that that you could do right now if you're interested you could google it i haven't really looked into it too much but it seems like there's some pretty good deals to be had potentially if you look up like electric car leasing hacks uh chags thank you for the 29 month reason welcome back hello 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 what's going on chags uh, just for my office can't figure this right out on me but i mean right now leasing is a joke dude i mean this I is an example this is, I'll give you an example. You lease because you deploy so much? Oh, well, maybe. I mean, like I said, there could be. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay, I got Rook. Is he Aquabar? I'm gonna nade him, ready? I repulled it, I'm fucking dead! Okay. I've done that like fucking 10 times, bro. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, don't put me on the couch. Yeah, I can hold it's your pirate and open the hatch for me. Blatant throwing. Where was he? Where was he? Blatant throwing on my fucking part. Alright, I'm on your white cam. Fuck, bro. The diffuser has been secured. <sighs> anyway, I will give you an example of how bad leasing is right now. Okay? I thought that, like, maybe I would, tr like, you know, when the new Escalade comes out, I want to buy the new Escalade. Okay? It's fucking beautiful, all that kind of stuff. So, I looked and I was like, well, maybe I should like lease the current Escalade. One's flanking white right now. Yeah, he's coming from 90, it's an alibi. Okay, let's take sight then. 
You got, got the cam. Mm, the only cam no, we no, have no, is like no. office and bottom cool vibe. I, I okay. It. Anyway, I go. I I'm like you know someone one of someone told me that they got a good deal leasing an Escalade. They fucking lied, by the way. Okay. Because <laughs> I I fucking called uh I fucking called on it, and the deal was definitely not. They they forgot to mention major parts of it. So. The car was uh, for the car. If you were to buy the car, was a hundred thousand dollars. Very expensive car, right? But they did have an incentive. If you bought the car, it was like ten thousand dollars off right now. So it was ninety grand to buy the car. Okay. The current lease rates on the car were uh, you put down ten thousand dollars. I think it was. It was either ten or twenty thousand dollars down. I think it was ten down. And then you paid nineteen hundred dollars a month for thirty six months. So if you do the math on that, you paid sixty fucking eight thousand dollars leasing this car. Plus you put a ten thousand dollar down payment. Okay, so to basically lease or rent the car for three years, it was seventy eight thousand four hundred dollars. Or if you were to just buy it, it was ninety. So I'm pretty sure after three years, that car's going to be worth more than, like, whatever, fucking 14 grand, 16 grand. I didn't look at what the numbers were exactly. Something like that, right? So it's an absolute fucking joke. And that's how a lot of car leases are right now. Before, leases, leases back in the day used to basically calculate the depreciation of the vehicle. And if you included then manufacturers incentives and stuff like that you were able to get a good deal where it like financially would make sense in a lot of situations but that just seems to be gone now but if you're really looking into it um check out uh definitely check out like the electric car lease hacks i know there were people getting electric cars for like $200 a month $100 a month right now i don't know the details but i saw people pulling it off Online. I don't know exactly what the details of that are. What in, uh, okay. behind blue bar. Masters Is it on my blue team? Let's, let's go above. Let's go above. Don't worry about this guy. Did you drone VIP or no? I did, but she drone in VIP. I'm meeting here. Okay. Well. Okay, yeah, yeah, she's in this corner on two ping. Ready? I'm gonna fucking open the hatch and shoot her through the wall. In, in the control hallway. Wait, she's not there no more. She did. She went She went to the other side somewhere. Me drone. She shot my drone, bro. You, you guys need to fucking help us upstairs, man. Like, this is crazy. We're, we're fighting people in blue bar for no reason. Remember, I'll just walk in and hope I don't die. One is 100% blue bar. There's literally behind the desk, bro. Like, why are you downstairs, bro? Why? This is the hardest troll I've ever seen in my fucking life. Man, is fighting fucking people in blue bar. We have Ram and fucking... Fuse, like, it's just... Uh, just why? Just fucking why? Yes, no, so the, the way that, the once again, I don't know the full details because I didn't look into it that much, but basically you could apply the $7,500 tax credit that was supposed to only be for, like, buying an EV. You could apply that to leasing an EV. So that's, like, the trick. So there's been times, like, I don't know if it's as easy to do now, but basically there was, like, say there was a car that the lease was supposed to be, like, over the course of the lease. Like, they've kind of clamped down on some of the stuff, but there was a point where people were getting cars for free, basically, or, like, $10 a month. Most of those, like, cars have gotten bought and up now, and the loopholes kind of got closed out. But, they're like, you know, say a car is, like, a two-year lease or something like that, and it's supposed to be, like, it's an electric car, so it's, like, 500 a month, right? 500 a month times 24 months. Okay, that's $12,000. Now, you minus off a $7,500 tax credit, 
that's $4,500 divided by 24 months. That's $187 a month. And, like, people are fucking doing that, like, a lot right now. Like, around that range, people are picking up cars for that. Like, $100, 200 bucks a month for, like, a brand new electric car that's, like, pretty well optioned. So if you're able to take advantage of it, that could be pretty good, too. Like, 200 bucks a month for a car? Bro, you can literally... There's basically no car that you can take to have fun with you guys. Buy that's gonna only depreciate two hundred dollars a month right now. Rain hurts. But that crazy that timing was crazy on the Legion walking in through their kitchen door as soon as I went to throw a yeah. stun. <laughs> ran. So I had a feeling because I heard definitely look into that if you're interested. Like you were saying, you were thinking about buying an electric car com. That could be a good way to go. I have no idea how that works either, to be honest. Because, like, the way that I thought that it works is you had to buy the car in order to get the 7500 but somehow it's able to be applied to leasing. I have no fucking clue how. I don't know. I think there was, like, manufacturer incentives and stuff like that. Because I was talking about this the other day. You know who got a crazy deal on an electric car is Feekwatch. Dude, Feekwatch got, like, a hundred and something thousand dollar Mercedes, like... For I think he said like it was like three fifty a month because of like there was a bunch of manufacturers incentives and discounts and then he was able to apply like the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit to the vehicle as well. So dude is driving around a hundred and whatever thirty thousand dollar car for like three fifty a month. Stairs. He's gonna run out main door. Watch out. Okay, there's a mozzie right underneath the bathroom door. Yeah, he went, he went by the bed. Hey, someone take this case off. Are we droning up top or no? Watch 90 hall, 90 hall. I think he's hiding behind the bed. Yep, 90 hall, 90 right now. Hold on, let me open the window. Can you shoot this win uh, window down? This guy by top the bed. Wait, we, we gotta just throw the people up top. Okay. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. Do we, do we have any info on upstairs at all? Yes, one's by top white. Is that all we know? Still hear him on my drone. I need the dead. This guy's on the hatch, I think. What the fuck? Nope. Not. It's theater, 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 theater. I got him. Bro, this is fucking crazy. He was he was behind the half while he fucking ran into the theater. I got killed by my fuse charge. What? That was so far from me. Okay, I'm dead. Whatever. Huh? The fuck? I'm rotating side window. How does that kill me? Okay, ro sight rotate. Huh? Sight rotate right now. By the B bomb chest. One courtyard. One courtyard. Okay. Wait, where is he at in courtyard? I'll just go kill him. Right I don't there. know. He just impacted the wall. Interesting. You can't fuse him. The floor is open. Uh, I don't know, know, dude. I do that literally all the time. Burn sight window. Hold on. But I, uh, by a bomb chassis right now. I guess that uh, it bounced off something. It must have bounced off like. Oh, like counters or something, One's maybe? Door, You've never seen that happen? Neither have I. I do that literally all the time. Including when there's a ram going across. Like oh, rotate, rotate. On the rotate, rotate. On the rotate right now. What? Watch that, watch that. Watch that replay. Okay, he's, in, he's pantry. He's kegs, kegs. Okay, just... I'll call. I'm on the camera right now. He's seconds, still pantry. Flashbangs. Good job. <laughs> uh, yo, did you watch? Okay, did you see how I did it? Did you watch the replay? No. I'm just saying, if we lost that, bro, I would have been so fucking pissed. I see what it We're fucking bounced off of. I think it might have bounced off the like the the counters in the bathroom and the shelf. I bet you, if I watch back the replay, any money that probably one of the fuse charges bounced and got stuck in the shelving and the pantry, because that's where I died. Was like above pantry. And then the floor was like open, 
so it does more damage to you when the floor is actually open. That's probably what happened. That's fucking so unlucky. <laughs> yeah. 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 I I shot to mass the sound of meatball, then somehow you one tapped him. Holy shit, dude! What? Fried. No, I'll have area. to show you. I don't, I don't, I don't know how. I don't understand. Because the thing is, you weren't even like ready to shoot the gun. It just like all of a sudden decided like. Nah, I'm out. Out. Speed, yeah, no. That like siege timing. I don't even think that was siege timing. That was just purely unlucky. Like the fuse buck. 100% bounce off of like bounced and like went into like the kitchen ca like shelving that's over there and like blew me up I'm not gonna lie uh, though, I do, I do, uh, yeah, I do. Let me wait. Let me hear. I do miss the days of leasing. I'm white repel. Other one bottom white. Big window. Roof killed me. I fucking knew it, bro. Ugh. What am I doing? That was way too late. Uh, watch it. One of the roof. One droning on top of the blacktop. Uh, 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 do you pay for maintenance on these things? I mean, the only things you'd hypothetically have to pay for... Oh, Aqua Belk right now. I think, uh, and then there's a guy on the roof and there's a glass in ruins. Those are the, all three. Okay. He's, he might be... Yeah, he's still outside of Aqua, just like laying down. Roof, so Aqua, ruins, Aqua, roof, ruins. The, the one in ruins is a glass that's just baiting. Okay. There's another guy still outside of Aqua. Uh, I'm on the can. I'm on the can. He's dead below, below, below. Lazzy. Oh, what the fuck? I'm, how are you alive? Good shit. Who's last? I want my ace. I want my ace. I'm going be on the roof, so I could be. Your dad just set up an outdoor TV in your patio. Shit was exhausting. They just shot the cam from the roof. Uh, pain in the ass is the studs were impossible to find in each wall. I mean, the studs are supposed to have like a predetermined, like, you know, basing. But a lot of tradespeople do not care. <laughs> they do not care. Where is she? Is the root? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be like 16 on center or whatever the fuck it is, so. How to make 500 million in one year. I don't think anybody can make 500 million dollars in one year by being like, I think they'd, they'd have to be really lucky, essentially. This is exactly what I know, I it's a troll question, but I'll I answer it seriously. I, I don't think anyone can make that much money by just being like good at what they do or intelligent or anything like that. Like, obviously, those are probably all like prerequisites as well. But, like, to actually make that much money, you need a lot of luck, too. I think that if you're really smart, and like driven and stuff like that, you could make like millions or maybe even tens of millions of dollars, but anything past that is just like luck. Obviously you have to have the other prerequisites of being like right place, right time, you know, and then have, um, have obviously, I mean, not always, but generally speaking, there's something, they're generally probably pretty smart or good marketers, or so something like that, whatever, but, yeah. No one is able to make, like, there's no, like, replicatable way to make 500 million dollars. Why did we reinforce when we have a plan of gold? No, it's okay. There's no way that would pass inspection if it was built brand new. Uh, okay, I think I've figured out what it is. Okay. 
I do think that the systems that are in place for things are, like, definitive. I figured it out. Okay. Yeah, house inspectors miss a lot of shit. On the roof. Just like car companies do. Just because something is brand new does not mean that, the, like, it's not fucked up. This is the same guy from earlier, by the way. Okay, I'm not even trying to harp on you, but maybe you're young or something, or... That's not real. But, yeah, I mean, things are not... Like, buying brand new shit, brand new shit breaks. Brand new homes pass inspection and have major issues. Yeah, I mean, if you're building a house and you don't... Like, you didn't hire the builder and they don't have a good reputation, and even if they do, and even if the city comes out and inspects it, even if you hire an inspector, they will still probably miss things. Upside down Turn and Blackbeard. That is... Should have picked that. Service door upside down with the power. There's... Drone like security door. He's prone in the middle of the service door. This guy is insane. A, a very easy way, if you're curious about this. So that was that was the old industry that I was actually in. I was in commercial real estate development. And we used to hire out uh, inspectors and stuff that would look over. Once again, this is our company building it. Hiring contractors and stuff like that. Okay. So we have a fucking supervisor that should kind of know what's up, right? That's part, you know, that's there. And the contractors should know what's there. And every single part of the city, you know, these are big buildings that are approved by the city, inspected by the city. And we still had, okay, in lobby, in lobby right now. There's still things. There's still things that used to get missed all the time and inspectors would pick up. And then sometimes, even after all these steps were taken, Things would still get missed, and it would come up a few years later. A really easy thing, if you're super curious, just go look up home inspection videos on YouTube or TikTok or whatever you want, and uh, you will see constant things of cities or even inspectors and stuff before that inspector had been in there going in and five sets of people greenlit this entire project, and there's, like, major fucking issues that will, like, kill someone in the future. If, like, not corrected. Like, that, you will literally find that all over the place. They just, they just went bathroom hatch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, like, yeah. It's all... You you will find... There's, there's literally a whole set of... You will find a whole set of, uh... Basically, he said that his TV was hard to mount because the sud the studs were not separated evenly. Which had to pass multiple sets of inspection. Your dad says he fucks up shit all the time. No, I mean, yeah, people... It's like, some of it is, like, laziness. Some of it is genuine mistakes. It happens, you know. And then a lot of times those mistakes get passed by, like, a bunch of people. In fact, sometimes it's actually worse. The better the person is, the more likely things are sometimes, like, able to, like, fall through. Because, uh, there's been issues before where this has actually happened, where the person that's inspecting from the city will miss something that a contractor does. Because the contractor's really fucking good at what they do. The contractor's really fucking good at what they do, and the person from the city knows that, so they pretty much just kind of trust the person, and they just write off on their shit without really looking over stuff super carefully. That happens all the time, and if you don't have, like, a third-party inspector... Yep. So, you know, on the occasion that that person who is really good at their job does fuck something up, you know, maybe the inspectors that are there know that person never fucks shit up, and that's it, you know. I mean, some of these people are not even, like, city inspectors. They're just people you independently hire. I mean, there's, like I said, I will 
the amount of times that things have happened where there's... What the fuck is this guy doing? The amount of times... I'm, I'm talking, like, literally, like, an insane amount of times that this has happened. Where really reputable contractor does something, so they're good with it, and they have the owner of the company that's there personally. Great company. Normally doesn't make mistakes. They make a mistake. That, then the city comes in and inspects it, and they don't catch it. And then the in, the the you know the project manager checks it over first, says it's good to go. Then the city inspector comes out and passes it, and then a third party independent inspector passes it, and it's actually a problem. It doesn't come up for two or three years, you know, and then it becomes an issue. Insane amount of times that that has happened. In, in fucking sane, in fucking like sane. A lot of times that I've seen that happen. You know, and stuff. <sighs> You worked in an excavation, you dug basements for a guy that was known for cheaping out on stuff. He was notorious for pouring three inch garage floors where the bare minimum is four inch. <laughs> Bro, that shit actually fucking infuriates me when someone's like that cheap on something. We're like, what are they really saving there? Like, they're barely saving anything. Like, this, this customer is paying them like a ton of fucking money, right? And they're saving barely any fucking money, dude. Like, literally, like, maybe, yeah, maybe, like, a few hundred dollars on a garage. Max. On a garage, you're probably charging ten grand for. Just to save fucking, like, 200 bucks and fucking that person over in the future. Oh, that actually happened to my parents, funny enough. Speaking of a garage, my parents, uh, when their house was, like, built and stuff, they had a they had a city inspector, you know, inspector. They had fucking million things, okay? And the guy who they, who that, that did their garage didn't uh, pin, like, the... Like, didn't pin, like, the steel, like, uh, rebar, like, to the back of the wall. And instead of putting, like, proper footings on the back, he used fucking Coca-Cola cans. <laughs> so, the garage, obviously, was fine for the first, like, fucking five years, or whatever. And then, uh, it started just fucking, like, caving. Not, like, not, like caving in, but it was, like, pretty much, like, it was just sinking in, like, certain spots, because it, the rebar wasn't tied in. Because the guy literally wanted to save money on, like, the ties to tie the rebar in. And he used, like, not enough rebar on it in certain areas. He probably saved $200. And uh, my parents had to replace their, like, driveway and their entire garage. It was, like, fucking weeks. And I think they had to spend, like, thirty grand or something to replace everything. You've seen million dollar homes falling apart because it was horribly built and inspectors have passed inspection, but it was a complete safety hazard all the time, all the time. Like I said, there's people that make YouTube content. And tick like, if you're curious, you don't have to take my word for it. You could go and look at like TikTok or um, YouTube and stuff like that. And you could see tons of examples of that and content on that. Love you. Most inspectors in your experience are power trips that look like for every little way to make them feel control. Um, I mean, I'm sure some are, but I mean, if you just do good work, I mean, 
they have to they're not just gonna fucking write you up for nothing in fact i'd rather have an inspector who's on a power trip so that everything is done correctly uh kevin thank you the prime sub I mean, they can't make stuff up. If they just make stuff up, I mean, you can push back on it pretty easily. They'll get in trouble for that kind of thing. So, if the work is good, then there wouldn't be any issues. People that say that kind of shit are fucking garbage-ass contractors who have no idea what they're doing. Don't half-ass stuff. Won't say anything. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> yeah, most contractors, like, if you hire them and they're, like, worried about inspections, they're probably shit at their job. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Contractors and stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, they can make pretty good money. Most people just... I actually watched, like, a very interesting video. Kind of recently. And, um... Most of it is kind of how I, like, already felt. But there was a really interesting perspective on it. Of why a lot of the trades and stuff are not doing well. Right? Like, if somebody... Has already kind of like spent time and has a college degree and they're not finding employment that's paying as well as a trade why wouldn't they just go into a trade everybody would say well they don't want to do the harder work or whatever the fuck it is you know blah 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 but there was something that i didn't really account for as much either that was brought up in the video and it was kind of like the sunken cost fallacy where they feel like they've put a lot of time effort and money into college so it should be paying off right and it's not so they don't want to go back to like because you don't just like be like oh, i want to be a plumber today and make like a hundred grand or whatever you know that's a, it, it, it's a process you make really shitty money working as an apprentice and you make a little bit better money as a journeyman and then you make a little bit and then you then then you finally you're like a master plumber right and then you're making like bathroom bandit then now you're a master plumber and you're making like probably pretty decent money at that point, but not crazy. Then once you have some experience as a master plumber, like really the only time you're gonna make like the better money is now you can become like a union plumber or you can or you have a decent book of clients and you can open up your own plumbing business. But a lot of people have like that sunken cost fallacy of like, I already spent time and money in college, I you know, should be rewarded for this, and that's kind of where they get stuck. Uh, uh, also having to clean shit for a living. That is true. True. I and mean, that's part of it. Like I said, that was the first thing, is that people 
part of it is, you know, people don't want to do that kind of work or they feel like they're above that kind of work because they spent the time to go get a college degree. But... drone to locate a bomb. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. Uh. He is dancing as well. That's unfortunate. Drill. I think he just experienced what I just had. Uh, Hunter, MS-65, thank you the Prime sub. Some college majors are total waste of time, most art history stuff. Against cheaters too. I think so that, um... I think that basically... You have to just... My whole perspective is, you just have to have a plan with what you're doing. And it's really hard as, you know... Kind of the time you're deciding the, the, if you're gonna go to college or not. Watch a window over here. You are probably about 16, 17 years old, right? Where you're kind of deciding on this path of what you're going to do in life. And you just have to have a plan for whatever that is. If you want to go to college, go there. You're saying that art history is a waste of time. I would disagree. I think that anything is a waste of time if you don't have a plan of what you're going to do. about your reception? You have to just have a, have some, you have to have a plan, Arthur. Basically, that's it. You know, if you want to go into art history, well, maybe there's a way you want to do it. You you kind of like set yourself up to work. Ran out with a shotgun. You kind of have to set yourself up in a way so that you're you know gonna whatever you're gonna be working at a museum. You know the museum is funded by the city. You have a nice stable job. Whatever the fuck it is, right? That person that's gonna do art history and is really going for that. He's running at you, Damus. Below, nice. Got him. Um, yeah. Compared Watch to a person door. who's like, yeah, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a, a doctor, but like doesn't take it very seriously and just doesn't really have a plan of what they're actually gonna do to get there, you know, and isn't making an active like effort to do so, and then just drops out. So that's all it is. Whether it's art history, or it's you know business or medical or whatever it is, you just have to have a plan and a goal in mind how you're gonna achieve it and actually doing it, and that's it. And if you're not gonna do it, then you know there's always other options in life that are non-college related. Trades are good. Um, I don't know. I mean, a whole bunch of things you could potentially do where you don't need a degree. And you have to, you have to also like kind of like it too, because you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life. Either the passion as well. You can make a hundred carrier and know, be miserable. Also, I agree. Here. That was yep. That's what I was just getting to. It's not danger. But yeah, okay, that's I like what you're doing to an extent too. I mean, I can try good at least. Crack the yellow. Alright, checking. Pro oh, me, Jammer. Okay, try mute. I can't, I don't have any more. Where? An office, bro. Watching yeah. the few of us. One's at party door. Oh! Well, okay, hey, no one's behind the desk to your left. Wow, okay. Last right. operator standing. Op 4 eliminated all friendlies. <sighs> but anyway. Yeah. The biggest thing is find By something that you... we get a cheater? This happens. Like, one of our teammates just randomly get this connection bug error. Probably some new fucking cheat where you can just kick anyone out of the game. <laughs> uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I got, like, the same thing as Kerf, I think. I don't know what just happened. Mm-hmm. This game is so fucking glorious. Yeah. Uh, They're cheating for sure, right? And getting a disconnect bug. Love it. Yes, we are. Was he like lightning or anything? Who knows? Mm -mm. Just one pump jewel. They need to locate a bomb. Someone take a breach, maybe. Like uh, they're gonna be down, right? Maybe take a ram instead of ash. Same gun. Yeah. We can just ram the wall. Just get good luck for that stupid well, fucking vigil. Let's say you just gotta have a plan with whatever you're doing. That's all. And if you don't know what you want to do, a good way to go could just be to go to like community college for like a couple of years. Get your associate's degree. Probably. 
or just kind of take the and make sure those classes like transfer to whatever four-year college you're planning on going to. Get on That's the cheaper. Cam real quick. Five I'm on it. Uh, uh, one coming to the hatch. You've located He's a bomb. Down your way uh, yeah, I can open up the hatch. Just sit on that real quick. Who is the vigil? There's no way he saw Holy that. Holy fuck. Gotta be the cheater. The vigil's gotta be the cheater. He's still on it. Guy, right. Pain. Well, I just got off of it. I'm on it, but I can't see shit with it. I see his trap, or he's like on his cam thing. Got my Lucy. Behind the piano, it sounds like. I can watch yeah. the drone down there. Yeah, that's the cheater. I figured. That's the only way he saw my drone. Colleges make you take stupid genas that provide no really value. Huge. Um, I don't know. We can try to go like through yellow door and just push. We don't have any. We can like maybe ace the wall and stuff. I mean, it's never too late to do anything. It's never too late for a career to change. It's never, you know, too late to go into a trade if that or do something that you want to do. But you just gotta have a uh, a plan to make it financially viable, whether that's art history or you know medical degree. And how you're gonna and actually going through and like completing it. Yeah, I think it's the showers. Who's doing this? Fire out! Yeah, that's okay. the second time I've run into a fucking thing. Uh, C4, dude. Oh, that's so annoying. I fucking shot it and I got a plus 10 and I thought I hit it, but it was not the C4. It was the fucking grenade I threw over blowing up the jammer. Oh. Alright, well, yeah. we get defense. Let's bring it back. Level 03 comeback against shitters. I hate this game so much. Protect the bombs. You have to figure out how to make money. No matter how hard you work, it's not enough. I would say that's probably true for most people, but didn't you just say yesterday you have two houses? I always put... <laughs> uh, it's Otto. Thank you for the 19-month reason. Welcome back. Almost a year straight, George. It's not Otto. but it bothers you when a model earns more than you? I mean, why? The majority of models probably don't make more than you do. Probably the select models that are you know, they provide value, right? I mean, that's how our world works. There's a guy at the post window. Ace. That's it, you know? Okay, one's in bull right now. I might be a clone. Nope, they're breaking wire. There's that bull door. Um, is my bidet the first original product that I've launched? Uh, no, not necessarily. When I had my fireworks company, I made a bunch of different, like, products. Obviously not, like, bathroom products like a bidet. They were all fireworks and 4th of July related products, but... We are just... Playing odd individuals today, man. 
Uh, no, yeah, this is my first product I've ever made as, like, a streamer, I guess. All the rest has been the previous professions. Friendly and fair. Wouldn't say so. Which one's the cheater? Uh, was the, the top guy. Top there. Six and two. Okay. I report. Alright, uh, again. That sucked. Okay. I'm going to bed. I'll catch you guys later. He's swapping cats. Oh yeah, these were from the game that I won from before. Yeah, I'll Later. Later, guys. Uh, uh, Jeez. My host? Okay. Hey, uh, uh, I'm gonna go join No, a but I will... I'll be right back. You can go whenever you invite me. My dildo venture? Oh. You know, the market for black eyes dildos just wasn't what I thought it would be. Wasn't what I thought it would be. I'm swapping to forklift oh, driver. No, no dildo uh, business. Just, I don't fucking know, dude. Cheater after cheater after cheater. Fuck cheaters. Yeah. Point point I don't know, man. Anymore. It's just... The only room to go down now. <laughs> I'm 4-2 and two with a 1.7 KD today. Nice and uh, I'm down, uh, down uh, 12 ELO. It's good times. Good times. Two, two win loss. 1.7 KD on support. And uh, uh... down ELO. Makes sense. <sighs> I think I'm on a different server on this account. All right. We can do. Uh, actually, I think I'm just gonna get off too. By the way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Mm -mm. Attachment sim for Mirror's Gun. It's like moss grown. I always forget the name, dude. Uh, moss grown ruin. Ruin. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I've actually seen people always say, like, uh, have you guys ever seen those like threads and stuff like that where it's like what are the most overpaid professions and it's like people are just not getting for the most part whenever they like specify any of these things that generally speaking most of these jo these jobs are led by market forces right they're obviously these people are paid a certain amount of money because there's the val the value is there. They're not paid this for no reason. Dog walkers, I mean, they walk people's dogs that don't want to walk their dogs. You know, basketball players. How how is that how is that like an overpaid position? They play the game. They drive fucking billions of dollars in revenue to the league and to advertisers and sponsors. The other one that I see a lot is yeah, the old, the OnlyFans thing. How? There's literally people directly giving them money for their, like, services. It's literally not. It's literally not. The money is there for advertising dollars. I've seen, like, streamers and YouTubers as well get listed. I'm like, I know, okay, maybe I have some bias. I'm a fucking streamer. But, I mean, not really. Like, you're paid based on... Mostly people that are viewers or you're paid by advertisers who you're driving yeah, revenue for. And there's an obvious like formula that's there where they make money out of the deal as well. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like those are not overpaid jobs per se, you know, like they might be jobs. Like you're saying like you're mad that a model makes more money than you. 
That is just someone being envious, essentially, that they're making more money than you, but they're paid that amount of money because whatever company is hiring them yeah. knows that they probably have a big following and they fit their like brand and brand perception well, and that's why they end up paying them that amount of money. Because it, they wouldn't just pay them a bunch of money for no fucking reason, right? A professional cuddler? That's just, I mean, I'm not going to say that. That's, that's pretty fucking weird. But, like, I'm sure they earn their money, bro. I don't, I think, I would say they're probably underpaid. I don't give a fuck what they're paid. They're probably underpaid. Someone started a business where the drive scared people across bridges. Um, I don't know. I mean, I. I would not be afraid to drive over a bridge, but hey, if people have really bad phobia and stuff, fuck it, why not, you know? I guess if they're willing to pay for the service, then... Oh. You see the guy talk about making bank doing that? Yeah, I mean, like, to me, personally, I'm like, who the, you know, how the fuck is there a market for that? But, I mean, I guess people have phobias of, like, bridges and heights and stuff, so must be enough for them to do that for a living. Supply and demand. The only jobs I can say that are like, I don't know, overpaid. Like an overpaid job. Probably Almir and Elman. They don't fucking do anything and their dad just gives them like boatloads of money. So actually, yeah. There we go. I did find one. politicians i don't know actually i think i think in a lot of ways that pol like i don't want to get too much into fucking politics and shit here but i think that most of them especially at a higher level are probably not paid enough are probably not paid enough if they got paid more, right? Like, you don't want, like, politicians to be tempted or people in power, basically, to be... Uh, stop, Q, I got one. You don't want people that are like... Oh, the whole Q just ended yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, you don't want people that are, like, in positions of power to feel the need... Uh... I mean, obviously, there's people that just, there's never enough for them, right? They'll, they're always corruptible. But assuming somebody makes, like, a pretty good amount of money, uh, the, whole, the point of that is that they'll be less likely to be able to be, uh, to be like, bribed or lobbied to and stuff like that. So, or, like, lobbied and stuff like that, right? Or doing, like, you know, they do all the insider, well, technically not insider trade. They have just amazing stock picks all the time. Just super, for some reason, everyone in fucking, that's every politician, you know, they're just really fucking good at picking the right stocks, you know? But, you know, if they were paid 
very well, right? Which in the grand scheme of things is nothing, right? Like, let's just say you paid every fucking politician, like, you know, Congress, Senate, President, Vice President, the main, you know, people above those, you know, the, around that area. But you paid all those people like a fucking million dollars a year. They'd probably be way less likely to be corrupted, right? Because they're making a million dollars a year already. And in the grand scheme of things, it's not very much money, right? That's a theory, at least. So, ideally, that's what you want to do. Close the loopholes. All these weird laws and stuff that allow, you know, them to be such good stock pickers. <laughs> the thing that you don't want is... You don't want, you know, being in political office to be a thing that's just for really rich people. Like, let's just say, like, you got paid, like, 20K a year to be, like, a senator or something, right? But it basically requires you to be full-time and, like, have, you know, a place in D.C., a place in your, like, where you, like, live or whatever, or that you represent. It's a high cost of living, and it would basically just become, like, a hobby for mostly like rich people and stuff like that, right? Who are able to afford that. But I think the correct thing that people are looking for is that they hate politicians, generally speaking. And that part I agree with you with. I don't think their pay is as much of an issue. I think I would, I would trust a dog turd on the street more than a politician. Because at least I know the piece of dog shit on the street, it's just going to sit there, it's going to fucking reek like shit, and I'm just going to avoid it and we're good to go. But politicians are worse. Can't avoid them. I don't want to get into political discussions and stuff, yeah. But, like I said. I would rather have them... I would rather have them close a lot of these, like, loopholes and stuff like that. But make it so that they're not susceptible, like, you know... I don't want to get into fucking politics too much, but this is my opinion. There's way too many loopholes and things for, like, politicians to make money in, we'll call it, unethical ways. And there's a lot of forms of, like, lobbying and stuff, which are, like, you know, a whole bunch of money that gets transferred around. And it's kind of, like, it's kind of all obscure and stuff like that. If they were, you know, obviously able to more aggressively close those loopholes, this is the biggest thing, and then make it so these people were well-paid, so that they weren't really necessarily... um catering as much to the interest of, like, you know, just a few, like, wealthy donors or companies and stuff like that. And there weren't as many loopholes, you know, stock trades and stuff for them to make all this crazy money. But it was a high-paid job, right, where you could make a lot of money. It would attract people that were actually intelligent, that actually cared, that actually knew what the fuck they were talking about, that actually wanted to represent the interest of the people that they were presenting. Is that going to happen? Probably not, because it's a fucking pipe dream. <laughs> but. What are you going to do? Yeah, overall, the U.S. is still better than pretty much everywhere else for the most part. We got our issues, but it's all right here. 
it's pretty good still. Still love the U.S. Nothing's perfect, though. Do I like motorcycles? A much easier topic. I do like motorcycles a lot, actually, but I don't think that I would ride one. And it's not because of... um, It's not necessarily because of, like... I don't trust myself driving a motorcycle. I don't trust the people around me. Bro, I have seen people texting and driving, and I just don't want to die. Like, there's, there's, I, I'm just fucking minding my own business, driving down the fucking, you know, driving down the highway, and just some fucking person texting and driving just flies into me. I'm fucking dead. There's no way I live. That's it. I'm dead. So, you know, I, I, I quite enjoy living, you know. <laughs> so I don't want to ride a motorcycle. Maybe on a track I would. But not, not, there's no way I would fucking do that on a street. There's good roads and bad roads. Oh no, there's only bad drivers. There's literally nothing but bad. I, I mean, bro, have you driven on the road? People are fucking dog shit at driving. You know what's out there right now, dude? You're just trying to have a nice fucking drive. Okay? Go to the fucking grocery store. On the way there, there's a stupid fuck texting. There's a stupid fuck that's drunk. There's a stupid fuck that's, like, eating fucking ice cream. A stupid fuck clipping their toenails out the window. A stupid fuck that's high as shit. Fucking cooked out of their fucking gourd. Probably fucking blazing while they're driving. All of them are about to fucking run into me. Pass. Hard pass. <sighs> Don't be weird, Sparkle. There's also normal commuters. I would agree with you. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but there's just a lot of people that are really bad at driving. Way too many for me to want to ride a motorcycle. <sighs> oh, Jesus. We have him on our team. Uh, uh, uh. Is I cheating or something? Hmm? It's your favorite Ying player. <sighs> oh, is he really on our team? <laughs> yeah. I just banned Ying because it's a dog shit S operator that I hate playing against on this map. <laughs> we have that I'm loot so on our mad. team. <laughs> yeah. Probably raging. It's like the one time you shouldn't have banned it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay. Nah, Wait, bro. Right Listen, all I'm saying is people who ride motorcycles on public public streets are insane. Your drone to locate a bomb. You're a fucking mad lad. You are a mad lad. I don't even like driving sports cars on a fucking normal street, dude. I like driving, like, a full-size SUV or pickup truck, and that's it. People just suck at driving. Little man needs to compensate with a big truck. Real. Um, they have a cap cam. Yeah, basically it's when there's traffic. 
You just DMR it? I think he's in the cigar hut, maybe. I saw a laser. Zombie fucking bunch of wildness. There's a cigar. Kill him? That was the guy I lit up. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Works one health from bathroom. You feel like 99% of people who own a truck don't even need it? I mean, probably. Nice, you down. Okay. I'm just gonna fucking repel him to see what happens. Wait, one song? You're dead. Maybe one. Works is down in the bathroom. One song? Four last operators standing. Yo, coming up white stairs, coming up white, coming up white. On pink, tap in. Ping. Nice. Good shit, George. Thank you, thank you. Good calls. See what happens when he doesn't randomly repel to the windows? Yep. <clears throat> Amazing on the Pistons made history with their lowest win season. 14 wins were part of it. And the Sacramento Kings contributed to their horrendous Back team's record. Easy peasy, or... baby. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I got shit on. <laughs> okay, here's the thing that people don't realize about truck. I'll tell you as somebody who has a pickup truck, who's somebody who's like, you stream, why the fuck do you need a pickup truck? I'll tell you why I bought a pickup truck, okay? There's a few reasons. So a lot of people, what they don't realize is, Everyone's like, oh, the 1960s and 70s, we had nothing but cars, mostly. People didn't drive trucks. Okay? So, the reason nowadays is, basically, the big sedans of the 1960s and 70s were pretty much the same length, if not longer, than pickup trucks are. Okay? So those cars are basically gone. The big sedan is dead. There's no Cadillac, you know, DeVille's or anything like that, or Lincoln Continentals or any shit like that. That stuff's all gone, right? Those people are just driving pickup trucks now. Those cars got fucking horrific gas mileage, right? They were huge. They were heavy. People said basically the same thing they say about pickup trucks now. Why do you need such a big car? Blah, 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 blah. It's a different time. Different truck, different vehicle, same story. Okay. So the reason people buy pickup trucks and why basically the big sedan is dead, essentially now at this point, is because people have found out that like pickup trucks, a lot of the newer ones, right, can be optioned out to be as nice as those old, old school, like nice sedans, right? Like they're the same length, but they have higher ride height, which is nice. They hold their value extremely well, right? Like, uh, a pickup truck will hold its value much better than if you buy, like, a, you know, let's say you buy a, a $60,000, $70,000 pickup truck, or you buy a $60,000, $70,000, like, BMW or Audi, or whatever, anything like that. The pickup truck will hold its value much better than the sedan will, right? It'll hold its value much better. Also, even though you might not be using the bed all day, every day, no matter what, when you do need it, it's really useful. A good example is today, I went to Costco. It was me and my wife, okay? And we had a huge Costco order today, like massive Costco order. And you know what's nice to, where it's nice to put it? You have all the whole trunk to fill up and, you know, put stuff in there. You know, I gotta go pick up some sheets of plywood in a few days or whatever, and when I do that, I can just take my pickup truck, and I don't have to, like, try to find a way that I'm gonna shove it in the back of, like, a small sedan or something, right? Or even if it's a big car, you still can't fit it in there. So even though I'm not using it all the time, and, like, modern pickup trucks don't get that bad of gas mileage. I mean, my truck probably gets, like, 16 miles to the gallon or something. 
Which, once again, not great, but also not terrible either. You get around 1920s, see that's great. He's on he's he's on piano. Take it dead. Back cocktail. Back cocktail. downstairs again. Coming up white right now. Playing out the top of white stairs. There's a fucking mirror on that? Uh, he just shot me through the fucking wall. Uh, I have a GMC Sierra. That's how I just died, by the way. So, I mean, technically my truck could get, like, up to 21 miles per gallon. But, uh, I mean, I don't get that. I get, I get like, I don't know, 15, 16, like around there. Depends on, like, time of year, what I'm driving, what I'm doing. And, like, like I said, I probably use the bed every once in a while. Also, a lot of people see pickup trucks driving around. You can also rent the truck, though, if you need it. But, yeah, but when you combine all of the factors, like, very low, like, probably one of, like, the, like, it holds its value extremely well. Uh, it's really nice ride height. You know, like it, you're, it's a very safe vehicle. Uh, it can fit a lot of stuff inside of it when you need to. Like I said, you know, it's it, and especially too, you can get like if you buy at the right times and get the right discounts and stuff like that. They often discount trucks and have good deals. That even helps the depreciation more. I mean, not really. No, I know there's the whole thing of like you guys are always joking, like, "Hey, he's fucking short, yeah, fucking Napoleon." Fucking Napoleon King George over here buying a fucking pickup. In that case. I know I could rent the truck and stuff, but it's nice to just have the truck too. And once again, I live in a state where it's, you know, I live in Detroit, it snows a lot here. And uh, you know, it's nice for the snow. You don't get stuck ever. I don't go camping at all, but it does snow here. Honestly, this year didn't snow very much, but generally speaking, it snows, like, quite a bit here. And, uh, you know, it's really nice for those, like, super snowy days. You could just plow through it, even when, like, crossovers and stuff are getting stuck. You're not it's getting stuck. So, I mean, even if somebody lived in Miami, it's, like, I could see people buying large pickup trucks solely for the reason... Okay, this guy is right on the barb on two ping. No one's actually in bakery though. This guy's just sitting in like on the spot. I'm gonna fucking flash this guy and kill him. Hold on. I flashed all this world. Okay. Hold on. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, he's not there anymore. Run away, run away, run away. Run away, yep, run away. He just prep. I, I died to him. I tried to peek him. One friendly operator remaining. Gets you the best. Forgot. Let's go, some noob. I'll be back. How tall am I? I am 5'6. Midget hopping on a monster truck is a funny visual. Thank you, dedicate. <laughs> What's up, dude? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but anyway. He is raked in. Once again, I think I think uh Carlito Sway, thank you for the 29 month resub, welcome back. But basically I'm explaining, you know, why. This is this is why people buy pickup trucks that don't like need it. And also too, a good example is people buy cars that are let's say, you know, the thing that's always weird to me is people will always say, like, oh, why do people buy pickup trucks? They don't need it. They're not hauling stuff around in the bed all day every day. And just because you don't see the person using it at that exact moment in time doesn't mean that they don't use it at all. But 
The weird thing is that I that I notice the difference on is like every time somebody gets like a nice sports car, no one ever says anything. They're like, "Wow, that's so fucking sick!" And like that's it. But at the same time, the sports car is not on a track being used to its maximum potential. It's just commuting that person from point A to point B and probably gets worse gas mileage than the pickup truck most of the time. And has zero utility, right? Feeder McGeeter, thank you for the 52 month reset. Welcome back. And the sports car will probably depreciate harder than the pickup truck will. It also has to be stored in the winter and you basically need, a, you need another vehicle just to drive it in the winter if you live in a snowy state. So... I guess that's my perspective on it. Maybe people think I'm fucking wrong, but I don't know. Just my thoughts, I guess. Not worse mileage, but utility and depreciation suffers. Uh, I would disagree. I've driven sports cars that get six miles to the gallon, so. <laughs> my truck gets like 15, 16. Night, sleep tight. Mm -mm. I fucking knew it, bro. Uh, he is trying to spray into the wall currently. You drove your Corvette in the snow all the time. It is possible to drive it in the snow, but. Admit it, it's probably one of the worst cars to drive in the snow possible. And if the snow got too deep, you probably just didn't go out. There's no way you drove a Corvette in the snow all day, every day. And I don't know where you live. Maybe the snow is not as bad over there. But, I mean, if there's anything more than maybe, like, a few inches of snow, you are fucked in a Corvette. I know this because I have had, sport, like, sports cars before where it was my only vehicle. I drove them in the winter. I live in Detroit, for the, for those that don't know. And uh, when it would snow really bad, I just wouldn't be able to drive out. Like, I just would have to wait till the streets got plowed, essentially. We live in Ohio. Okay, so similar climate. Yeah, I had snow tires and everything, but there's a certain point where you just, like, can't. You just can't do it. From deep. Cadillac ATS. A Cadillac ATS is very different, though, than a Corvette. A Corvette has really minimal ground clearance. Um, you would 100% need to get snow tires. Dock them up. Mm -mm. There's a YouTuber. Yeah, that's the thing that you. That there's a, there's a thing right there. There's a YouTuber. <laughs> So they cut out all the times where, I don't know if they get stuck or not, but they probably cut out all the times where they get stuck. They probably drive in more ideal situations and stuff. And I do think the event to drive, if I'm not mistaken, is all-wheel drive. Isn't it all-wheel drive? Pretty sure it's all-wheel drive. I know the Uricon comes in rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive variants. I don't know about the Aventador, though. Uh, let's see. Anyway, let's. I don't fucking know. Let's see if it says. Design, blah, 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 blah. I don't fucking know. I can't find it. Just on a quick. It is all wheel drive. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the Corvette is rear wheel drive. Every Corvette has been rear wheel. And I'm pretty sure if you could afford a Lamborghini Aventador, I'm pretty sure you could afford a second vehicle for the, uh, for the winter. <laughs> Autocore with them and plow and drive it. I mean, I had like a really fast Camaro that I had heavily modified at one point. Like, that thing was fucking cooked. That, that shit was fucking cooked in the snow, dude. I had snow tires on it and it just fucking would spin anyway. If there was, if there was like any snow, it was basically just done. Yeah, 
NBAP. Uh, wait, Skyline. The fuck? He's a uh, lumbar. Upstairs. It's a ram. Uh, 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 uh. Did they nerf Rams gadget? Um, uh, no, they haven't nerfed it at all. Yeah, the only legit. change, the, the only legit. changes that they made to it is at first she had four of them and now she has three. But I, I don't even think that was like during. No, I, I broke the door open. Who boarded all these doors? Up? Their gridlock, so they don't have anything holding their point. Pickup trucks. They're joining out VIP right now. Four Think about them. They're actually pretty chill. That's not a kill. Okay, there's a guy in train. Ram. Sees me clearly as day and okay. Maybe freezer drop. One's outside white. All the way upstairs, by the way. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Breach. Right on you. One friendly operator remaining. Freezer window. Oh, good try. All friendlies were eliminated. Mission failure. You'll zip tie a plow on. A3 is finally decent, by the way. It needs a bit more before you can recommend it. I've never seen me on the um, Like, I don't know. I I still remember the last time I tried to play Payday 3. I, I try to, to play Payday 3, and I literally can't even log into my fucking, like, Starbreeze account or whatever the fuck it is. Because, like, the servers were just getting, like, cooked, and the whole service was, like, down. I'm like, well... Guess, uh, guess I'm just not gonna fucking do this. <laughs> There's a ton of hype on Ram's launch. What changed? Uh, I mean, she's very good. She gets played all the time. She, she's really, basically, if you're attacking from above, she's essentially a must pick. Not like an absolute must pick, but I mean, you should, if you care about winning at least. Yo, who's making these head holes? Eight eight three is three hundred concurrent players. Damn, that's rough. That's fucking rough. The guy responsible for that got fired. He was also scamming the company. Nice. A stand-up individual. In the shield. Don't jump out the window. Wait, no, he's not. He's not going to garage. Oh, rotating around big. Okay, I think they're big, yeah. They have a shield, I believe. Not a kill, okay. I'm trying to Monty push this. Bakery, bro. I had to play too. 
Mm -mm. I'm on your back, white cam. That's all I really have. Am I good? What's that breach? I haven't watched the new Fallout show. How is it? I heard very good things about it, but I haven't watched it yet. That good five six stretch, hell yeah, dude. Still. Keep it deployed, surface secured. I don't know where I'm getting shot by now. Did you kill my man? No, I killed Monty. Where? Oh no, no, prep, prep. One friendly remaining. Oh my God, where? Okay, speed. All friendlies were eliminated. Jeez. Why'd we fall off her? We had her control. Because it is. No, it's all good. I don't mind the 5-6 banter. <sighs> Got Maybe a Slate for me. In fair. Nope. Oh, man, he's had some weird games lately. Alright, GG's, guys. I'll see y'all later. GG's. I'm just looking down a yellow. <sighs> Ideal. Yeah, I don't know, man. We've just been having like a ton of cheater games lately, or like. I don't know. It's not cheaters, it's fucking stream snipers, and like, that's it. You're done? Yeah. So everyone's dead? I guess. Right, Are you still playing Defected or no? Yeah. Okay. Let's ya. Oh, pain. You could tell there's, I always could tell when there's a lot of cheaters out. I don't even need to like actually play the game. I could just open my friends list. And whenever there's like little to no cheaters on, my friends list is fucking booming, dude. Like it's literally, I, I there's, I could, there's, there's a hundred people online that are playing. Like literally a hundred people. And. When there's a lot of cheaters on, I have, like, 10 people online. <laughs> and they're probably playing custom games or unranked. And uh, we're at point B right now. We're at point B. So, yeah. Good stuff. Double chin is booming. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick.
Oh, we have Hydra. Let's go. <sighs> Slow them. What's up, buddy? Hello. Uh, 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 are you on your main? Uh, it's Murph. Oh, All the cool. That's how I... mm -hmm. Gotcha. Jenny. Fighting a few people. Join. Okay. No, I still need to take a piss. I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I am going to queue us first, though. All right. I'll be right back.
done awesome. <sighs> Dude. You know what I gotta put together after the stream today? Kids these days have the coolest shit ever. Thanks to, like, thanks to, dude, listen, people always say that, like, globalization has all these downsides and stuff like that. I fucking disagree. You know what my kid got? So, you know, my daughter turned two recently. You know what my daughter got for her birthday? My daughter got a roller coaster. <laughs> Not like a fucking theme park one, but they make, like, bro, you could buy, like, personal roller coasters. Or they're like little fucking carts and stuff like that. Yes, and they're like a fucking couple hundred dollars. Back when I was like, the, the fucking, the thing that I had when I was a kid was like, dude, it was, the, what I had when I was a kid was like a fucking, uh, it's for like two-year-olds, yeah. Like literally, like it's for like very young kids. It doesn't. It doesn't spin and stuff. It, it fucking... It's like a... It's basically a cart, okay? And it goes up and down on a track, okay? It's for, like, two to four-year-olds. They're, like, 100 or $200. Dude, when I was a kid, that shit did not exist. The fucking best thing I had was a fucking hammer. I had a plastic hammer. That was my favorite toy growing up. My kid has a roller coaster. Dude, it's crazy. It is crazy. Remember those RC cars on tracks with the lower modes you had to build? It? Oh, I do remember those. Those were fucking awesome. Sled down the stairs. That's that was my roller coaster. Yeah, we didn't even have sleds. We used to take pillowcases and like ride down the stairs, or just people got pushed down the stairs. But that's for another time. No, me and my cousins used to just actually push each other down the stairs. Like, if somebody was, like, on t like walking down like this, you had to, like, watch your back. We got into this thing. Honestly, looking back, this was really stupid. Um, but basically, if somebody wasn't paying attention, they were, like, going down the stairs. Remember, this is pre-cell phones and stuff, and we were pretty young. We were, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 8 to 10 years old. If somebody wasn't paying attention, we would just push them down the staircase. I was pushed down the staircase, huh? Now you're changing it to the pusher? No, no, no. I may... I, it was kind of both. I, I had been pushed down the staircase and got pushed down staircases. Now it all makes sense. You must have been quite the victim. Use your drone to locate a bomb. <laughs> Maybe, dude. Maybe. <laughs> Listen. I, I actually... Uh, me and my cousins were honestly like, did we just beat the shit out of each other all the time? Looking looking back, it was, uh, we were actually like fucking terrible kids. We were always in trouble. But we all ended up okay. Alright, let's see what we can do. Uh, located and diffused. Oh, Is going white? <clears throat> this is on the bottom line. That. Is it her? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, but uh, but uh. What a time to be alive. Yeah. Honestly, I talked about this like a little while back, but I am pretty thankful 
that I got to grow up without the internet. To know and be like old enough where it was like a time where I was like actually able to like understand <coughs> what things were like without the internet. I'm very appreciative of that actually. Very, very appreciative. I know, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, we are? I'm drawing, bro. I'm drawing. No, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, when is the first, sir? Call the cam. Freezer. Freezer under. Or... Down to one yeah, my bad. Up. Freezer on work? In the freezer, right? Freezer. Yeah. No! He was fucking closer up. I did the same thing, but like, like that from the angle. You know, like, I didn't clear that shit. Yeah. <laughs> that guy just didn't even move. He just fucking shot. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's actually gonna be below. Um, I'm getting... Therm? No. <laughs> I'm getting numb. All right. Okay. To locate a bomb. All right. Yeah, I still remember, dude. It's crazy how fast technology is moving. It is kind of crazy. It's something that people don't really, like, think about as much either these days. Is that, like... I don't know. I don't think people are bored ever now. Like, people say that they get bored. But... I don't think people like it's it's basically impossible to be bored in like 2024. Whereas like there was literally like there literally you you used to just actually have nothing to do like at a certain point when you were like at least when I was like way younger. You had someone complain about their low income and you still decline their insurance. They need to learn everything is not a given. You are just you just fucking love this shit. This is canceled all. He's small liquor. You're a deranged freak. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, I got the castle and small open. Yeah, it's not like here. It's like whiskey. I get uh oh, that's a bad shit. Um This guy just swung the window. No, but I I actually remember as like a kid just being like bored. Because like we just didn't have anything to do. You know? Like we just had like a few toys and like we had like already kind of played them out and stuff like that. Go. There was just actually like you used to actually just sit there and like lay in bed sometimes. Not all the time, obviously. But sometimes you just do it and just be fucking bored. Whereas like that just does not happen anymore. People have their every time that people even have like one like, second, guys are like our, our, I think our teammates are like kind of lost. Uh, the enemy team is us? Uh, just... 
That one guy that was Goyo at the very last round, his KD like doubled and his rank like doubled in a few seasons. Yeah, there oh, no. were. Like you know, he just like didn't move. His gun just like shot the second my head was like on the screen. I don't know. Frame's crazy. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Or maybe he got much better. <sighs> you need to use your drone to locate and a bomb. Yeah, this guy's. Went from being fucking like bronze, but I think bronze and plat to, to yeah, like, like high diamond with a high win rate. They have tech fence drops, I think. Actually, maybe They're not. He probably just got lucky. He has a lot of games played. He's probably all right. He's probably all right. Yeah, I think I think so. that's what. Um, I don't know. It's up down. I think that's what's happened. It's like back in the day, there used to be certain situations that were like really like you would genuinely be bored, you know, like I, I remember this as a kid. OK, like if you were like waiting in line at like a store or like uh, I'm not obviously this point of time is like not that big of a deal, right? Like it's not some like fucking precious moment that was like a lost and we'll never get back. But like. I remember, like, if I was, like, waiting in line with my parents at, like, the DMV or, like, you know, at, like, the grocery store or, like, wherever the fuck it was, you know? Like, I just had to sit there and just do nothing. Like, there was literally just, you just had to fucking sit still for, like, potentially, like, if it was a certain place, like the DMV, that could be, like, hours of you actually just sitting there and doing, like, nothing. Yeah, you'd just be, like, picking up pamphlets off the fucking, like, wall and, like, reading about, like, how to renew your fucking license plate or some stupid shit, you know? Even though you were, like, 10 and didn't drive. <laughs> but now it's, like, you just, like, you have a phone. You have people have, like, tablets. You know, because of the internet and stuff, things are much more organized. You know, those people now, like, if you go to the DMV, yeah, it's obviously still annoying it's a DMV, but it's not as bad nowadays, you know? Now it's, like, stuff's generally more organized out, so that, like, people's times, time is, like, not as wasted, generally speaking. One's on heaven. And it's, like, I feel like that's one of the biggest things that's, that has, like, changed. Is, like, our time... Our time... That used to be, like, pretty you know, useless and stuff like that, but was a moment for us to, like, calm down and, like, think and stuff like that. Or, like, just kind of, like, turn off your brain for a minute. I feel like that time is gone. Like, there's literally not a moment of your time now that's not, like, taken by your phone. Like, every time you have downtime, it's like, I do, I'm, I'm, I'm not above it. I do it every single time. Every single time I have, like, two fucking seconds where I'm just, like, waiting for something. I just, like, you know, I just fucking pull out my phone, check my phone, check fucking social media or something like that real quick, like, whatever. If I'm in line at, like, today I was in line at Costco. Actually, today I didn't do it, because today I went to my with my wife to Costco. But normally, I do, like, the grocery shopping, and when I'm by myself waiting in line to check out, I just, I sit on my phone. Secure if I'm waiting for something at, like, you know, DMV or something, if, dude... Speaking of the DMV, I haven't even fucking been there in, like, fucking years, dude. Like, probably a fucking decade since I've been at the DMV. Because I could just do everything online now. Kids should not have phones. God knows the spoiled piece of shit that will create in 2030. Um, I don't know. I mean, kids having phones is kind of weird, yeah. But I just, I feel like it is insane how our time is like fully monopolized now, like at all times. John Charles. Okay, bro. All right, this guy is in fucking spawn. That is just so weird. The same guy, I think, again. Yeah. I don't know. The guy's really weird. The no man. Reloading. Yeah. Oh, 
always really funny. I just never die to this shit when all the cheats are down. Whenever all the cheats are up, it's just like all I'm dying to. Whatever. Maybe he's just getting lucky, hopefully. I'm holding peel up door, bro. This one. In the snow door. I'm holding that shit. You wouldn't give a three-year-old a tablet or a phone that becomes their babysitter? Um, I mean, I'll just tell you from, like, my, like my kid. Like, uh, my son doesn't get any screen time at all until he's, like, one, we will a little bit. And then we just kind of use it, like, very selectively. Like, normally, um, like, my kid's, like, two. And she only has, like, an hour a day of, like, screen time and stuff. I do think it's good for them to have some... I was, like, really against it at first. Coming up mining, Twitch. I was really against, like, them having any screen time before. But I think it is good to have a little bit... To the, but not to the point where they're, like, screaming when they don't have it. You know? Yeah, I was, I was up there putting some trunk over there. Like, my kids probably have, like, an... Uh, not kids, but my son doesn't watch anything. Not until he's, like, one. Yeah, maybe we'll let him watch a few round. things. But there'll be some, like, educational kids shows that are, like... I don't know. Maybe she could watch, like, an hour of a day or something like that at most. That's it. And she doesn't, like, scream for, like, to watch them. She watches them for the hour or the episode, and that's it. And then we play, you know, we'll play games or read a book or do a, go outside for a walk or do other things, essentially. Right? So. So, as we they have Code Academy for Kids. My kid's like a little bit young for that. She's like two. She just turned two as well. She just started giving attitude when she got her phone at four years old. <laughs> Bro, what do you do? You're not gonna do anything. Don't even lie. You probably spoiled the shit out of your niece. Don't even lie. It's not your kid. Yeah, so what? That's my niece. I can spoil her if I want to. <laughs> I'm not part of the problem. Screen timers having their own phone are two different things. I would agree. So she's four years old and she has like an actual phone that is like her phone that is like it like works with cell service. Not a headshot, 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 not a headshot. Not a headshot. Not a headshot. This guy is such a bot, bro. So she has, she's four years old and she has an actual phone that works. Like you could make phone calls off it as full cell service. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. That's a no for me, dog. That's a no for me. Satellite phones? Why would you get a satellite phone? Unless you're in the middle of nowhere and you, like, need it. But even at that point, iPhones have that built in now. One time your mom got fries for her and she said, give me my fries now. You're dead serious. You would eat that shit in front of her. Uh, you... You're not going to let her give your mom a random attitude and give her what you want. Motherfucker, that's probably what you do all the time anyway. Hey, why is my niece giving my mom an attitude? That's my job. <laughs> uh, Actually, you know what's kind of funny? So we, I actually have an old phone. I mean, I know it's a common angle. 
Is but that's why, bro. Who the fuck is this guy? That's what I'm this saying. This like, guy is horrendous. He literally just stands still on fucking yeah. god awful angles and just pre fires your head off. And he was like bronze last season. <laughs> He uh he went from being like barely he was either at a negative KD every season or like barely broke above a one KD never higher than like Emerald five, yeah, nice. and now he's like diamond on the fucking rise of the one point three. That's what I'm saying. Just bro. an improver. He has like five hundred games played though. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, maybe thanks. maybe 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 he's just getting lucky. Who knows? No, cheaters just help it to get better, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, this kind of people make me play better. I, I'm 100% sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be. Could just be a knower. That's that's a possibility. But let's change the server. What are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. Let's Wait, why can I not activate a booster? Um, I can. Because I have one, one that's active for four days. Did I just not get a bonus? I don't think I got a bonus on that one. Whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, we have, we have a, oh yeah, yeah, who's on, you're on a different server? Um, I'm just gonna give you host, you could host it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. just make sure, just throw on a delay, I guess, and then just run it. Alright. Oh, someone left. You done if I had three? One else of my apps. I've been backing up. Somebody. Where's the so, Switch players at? I have a really old phone. Oh, I have the Switch players. I'm in. I don't know. I have a... If, if people remember the phone... So you know how that Google has their Pixel lineup and they're now on the Pixel 8? So previous to that, they had a phone. They had the Nexus line. So I have a Nexus phone that uh, is really old. It's like super old. That's probably like a 10-year-old phone. But I still have it, and I just had it in, like, a cabinet. And I had it as, like, a backup phone in case I, like, needed one or something. My phone broke, whatever. Because at the time, it was not worth anything when I went to trade it because I had it for, like, five years. So that phone now is my kid's phone. But only under one condition. It's not connected to cell service or anything. It's just connected to, like, Wi-Fi. So that phone is the poop phone. <laughs> Whenever my kid's... Or sorry, whenever, whenever my whenever she whenever she would like have like a, a poopy diaper, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. I just fuck it. Here you go. Here's the phone. Play with it as much as you want. Break it. I don't care. Cause like she she got into this thing where she was like just like when you would go to like change her diaper after she had a poopy diaper, she was just all over the place, dude. And like there was like a, there was like one time she like kicked her foot into like her like poopy diaper and I'm like I'm done with this I'm fucking done with this bro I am done with this we're just gonna set this phone on the changing table when it's time to change a poopy diaper here you go have fun watch whatever you want <laughs> you know. Your niece had her own iPad at three and knew how to use FaceTime and TikTok. That shit blew your fucking mind. At three, you're eating your own shit. Okay, being able to use TikTok is a fucking no. Being able to FaceTime at three, okay. Family, friends, sure, it's cute. I mean, my daughter's like two, and, and because... The, the sh when we let her watch shows and stuff like that, like we let her watch like pretty much like one educational show. Normally, my wife uses that as like time to. Uh, she uses that as like time to like get stuff done. So normally, like my daughter will like eat, and then after she's done eating, she still shits. She, she still sits at her high chair, and then we play like an hour long educational show, and that allows my wife to like. Whenever my wife wants to like clean up or get some stuff done, that's like a good opportunity to do it. Basically, not cocoa melon. Cocoa melon is not educational at all. Cocoa melon just kind of like brain rot. There's uh, what's it called? Uh, she watches like Miss Rachel, either like an episode of Miss Rachel. She we will let her watch, or there's a guy called like Blippy. He's a YouTuber. 
Or there's like some other educational shows. I forgot what they are. Dude, you want to know the craziest thing? Have you guys ever seen Blippy before? I'll tell you some shit about Blippy. I'll tell you some shit. That guy's annoying as fuck, first of all. But second of all, dude, Blippy got fucking shit on. And I mean actually shit on. There's a video. I watched it. I'm not going to fucking lie. I looked it up. I remember I was at an event. A siege event, actually, funny enough. Was it a siege? Yeah, I think I was at the I think I was at the invitational this year and I was in Brazil. And I was talking to some guy like in the production staff. Because he had he had a kid that was like around the age of my kid and stuff like that. And we were just, you know, we were just talking about stuff because you know, you know, whatever, just shooting the shit as we were waiting for this like little uh piece that I was doing at the event that was getting recorded and stuff. And he's like, oh, yeah, like, what does your kid watch? Or, like, your kid watch any shows or something? Like, yeah, we just do, like, a, you know, one show per day. Generally, it's, like, an hour-long show, and it allows us to get some stuff done. And, you know, she's not over crazy about the show and stuff like that. And they're like, oh, what does she watch? I'm like, oh, mostly, like, M Miss Rachel or, like, uh, or like Blippi and stuff like that. He's like, oh, dude. Like, I know him pretty well. He's like, oh, dude. Blippi got shit on. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, did he get, like you know, fucking slammed online or something like that. He's like, no, no, no. He like, he actually got shit on. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, dude, he actually got shit on. Like there's a video of him and well, he actually didn't get shit on. He actually shit on his friend. So like, dude, you guys remember the Harlem shake thing from like the fucking whatever, 2010s and stuff. So blippy. Yes. The fucking child YouTuber. Okay. Is on the toilet and it's like the harlem shape song starts he's then like the scene like flashes and blippy is standing on the toilet seat and he shits onto his friend like actually projectile diarrheas onto his fucking friend who's standing below him so yeah that actually happened that actually happened. And the funniest thing was, uh, like, I told my wife about it. She's like, she's not watching it anymore. She's not watching it anymore. Your niece will watch like 10 hours a day. Yeah, that's not good. That's, like, way too much. That's, like, way too much. We were going to do no screen time until she was, like, four or five, but I think it's kind of good, too, to have some, like, educational stuff in there to, like, get them acclimated so it's not just, like, this crazy thing all at once. Why did I just tell you this? I don't fucking know, bro. Miss Rachel, though. Miss Rachel's pretty cool. There you go. Um, but yeah. But Feeder McGeeter, thank you for trying 52 months on Carlito Sway for the 29 months. I just want to make sure I didn't miss those. <sighs> Bro. Almir and Elmer are the softest fucking, like, ever. And they're like, yeah, if my kid's soft, I won't let him be soft. <laughs> There's like a, you, the, what show am I talking about? It's like a kid shows. If you have kids, you'll know. Like, bombs. I forgot what other one my wife has her watching now, too. But it's pretty, like, I don't know. Some of the shows and stuff, a nice little hour a day, I don't think is bad. Like, um, you know, my daughter is, like, two years old, and she's, like, fully conversational now for the most part. Like, obviously not, like, to an adult level, but you can have a basic conversation. Like, she'll say, like, you can ask her how was her day, and she'll say, like, you know... Uh, she'll say, like, good. She'll ask you, how, like, how are you? You can say, like, her name. Like, uh, she can do her entire ABCs. She can count up to, like, 30. That's not bad for two years old. And you know, my wife obviously does stuff with her as well. But part of it is from, like, watching different shows and stuff, too. I did see the Costco. I, I was actually at Costco today. I saw the belt section. I, uh... Your dad will be excited. There's a there's a new variety, dude. Lover? <laughs> they have new they have new inventory. 
He's on the big window. Uh... So fast, my astral. I didn't want to beat my astral. <sighs> Four located a bomb. Protect it. Inside eat monster. Yep. Dad'll be very excited. They have a wide variety of belts. Bathroom, maybe? Mission failed. All friendlies have been neutralized. <laughs> I remember King George is very well off life. It doesn't understand most of the struggles of a basic household. I don't know what that has to do with uh, what we're talking about at all. All right, we'll say inside. At all. Go off, King. Go off. I don't even know. I don't think this is an hello, actual hello. real testing, human. Testing. Can you hear me? All right. I don't know what the, I... Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Uh, 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 uh. Seven months since payday launch, you're not max level. Um, but you haven't even been playing it, right? I'm literally reinforcing this as a throw. like hitting this guy a little bit here and there. Got one in lobby. That guy was on main fucking stairs, dude. Summit. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm not Mexican. I'm Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern Summit. Listen, just cause I just cause I wear the what the flat brim hat. I actually take that as a compliment though. I like Summit a lot. Guy. I think library help me. How? Okay. He's in fucking lobby. I should have watched my kill cam.
Let's try to go basement. Uh, should we go bar, George? Uh, I'm good with either. I don't really care. Oh, let's go basement. You've been telling me that since day one. <laughs> you actually do. Consistency. Secure the bombs. Maybe a summit gained forty pounds. Kids won't be spoiled on TikTok and stuff. Uh, I, I, uh, it's a, it's a good problem to have, but I gotta. So, like, growing up and stuff like that, uh, my family was, like, very middle class and stuff like that, but some of my cousins were, like, super well-to-do growing up. Uh, and... Uh, hey, some of them, some of them are fine. It depends how their parents raise them and stuff. But they actually put like effort into it and stuff like that, and like, you know, basically showed them the fucking right way and didn't just give them everything they wanted. They ended up okay. They ended up, they ended up like doing fine in life and stuff. Few of them, their parents just literally would just actually give them whatever they wanted because they were like loaded and they're just like. Useless, not Watch for nothing. Put my hand on my chin, bro. They're just actually useless, and I mean, I still love them. They're nice people and stuff, but they're just like literally, they just still live off their parents. And they're like fucking thirties, like never held an actual like real real job. They're gonna be on top. They're gonna clear upstairs in lobby. Yeah. I'm going blue, bro. Am I scared that they'll see this? No, I tell them this to their face. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not a fucking bitch, dude. You're top, top lover. Top salary. Top salary. The illusion is fucked, bro. Uh, there's a Twitch drone in sight. <sighs> no, I mean that's. I think it's kind of a. It, I think it's a good thing when people are like forward. I obviously don't want to be a fucking asshole, like, like, too much, but you gotta be, like, kind of forward about stuff, not for nothing, like... Like, if you're not, like, pretty forward about stuff with people, then, like... I mean, you don't have to do it in, like, a malicious, like, a complete asshole way and stuff like that, but you, you have to fucking tell people that if you actually care about them, right? Like, you gotta fucking tell them. Cocky, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. There's a Twitch drone, I got it. Oh god. Down. You can raise me. You can raise me. Yeah. Cover. <laughs> Fifteen seconds left. Rise through. Shoot me. Nice. Oh, four eliminated. Mission successful. No, I mean it's not even that's really in a bad way, but like, dude. Let's just say, like, let's just say that I was doing something that was like, I don't know, like. <sighs> Let's just say I had, like, a fucking bad haircut that was, like, cringe. Dude, like, all of my cousins and, like, family members would, like, 100% tell me. Like, some of them in a nice way and some of them in, a in like, a fucking, like, kind of mean way. But, like, kind of joking, but, like, actually kind of fucking mean. Like, <laughs> and I think that's a good thing. 
I think that's a good thing, honestly. I, I don't I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because they're saying what everyone else is fucking thinking, but is like a being a fucking bitch about and not saying. Like, bro. <laughs> like like I've gained some fucking weight, okay, over the last couple of years. My mom just straight up told me she's like, you need to lose some weight. <laughs> she did <laughs> like, you know. That's just how it is, dude. All of my cousins and stuff are like, well, fucking married life's been rough on you. Lose some weight, fat ass. That's just how it is, dude. Like, they're just blunt about stuff, you know? You put them in Tammy lobby. Just for fun. I know. It's basically like my, my, that's why I like the stuff that Twitch chat says doesn't phase me because my family oh, basically just does the same thing. But no, like, honestly, like, it fucking. It, like, it, I don't know, it gets you to change things. If instead they're like, oh, you know, like, it's okay, like, it's not that big of a deal, you might not be as, like, motivated to, like, lose weight and stuff like that, right? Not that I've lost any weight anyway, so, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but at least they're telling you. Alright, library is... I don't know, I'd rather know the truth, that's all, I guess. Maybe I'm different in that regard. And maybe some other people, like, can't really take that type of stuff, but... I mean, I would rather know, like, their honest opinion instead of just some, like, sugar-coated, like, Oh, yeah, it's, like, fine, you know, even though it's not fine. I, sh I lit one up in piano. I'm dead. He ran a fucking trophy. Oh, he ran out of the, he ran out of the bottom trench door. This is just such like ugly loser behavior. God. Bro, he's watch. Yes, no, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, look at, you I do, I do, I do. Guy. I mean, especially, dude, especially when I was, like, especially when I was, like, growing up and stuff like that. Like, um, Vigil is so piano right now. Nice. Last one was, is, is it top blue, top blue, top blue. Behind the second case that's on the forefront. Yep, nice shit. Fucking go, bro. Anyway. They thought they thought you were cheating or something. <laughs> All right. Anyway, no, it's good. Let me on top again. My my cousins and I were like relentless so on each other on stuff. The wall. So I'm just going and uh, I think it's good because most of us, for, the, for generally speaking, for the most part, we all ended up like doing pretty well in life. And I think it's because we were all like pretty brutally honest for the most part with each other about stuff. Sometimes almost to a bad extent, but overall, to like you know, overall good. And and in terms of like you know looks and stuff like that, like fashion, career choices, all that kind of stuff. I used to be like really well dressed back then and stuff too, mostly because I used to just get shit from family and friends if I wasn't, you know? I care less now, but back then when I like wanted to really like look good and stuff all the time and everything and- All right, the plank kitchen was far away. Yeah, the now, I had some like lateral. cringe haircuts and stuff. Five uh, I'll try to get everything in piano. A bomb must be located and defeated. Telling you, you need that brutally honest person or multiple brutally honest people in your life. You'll be appreciative for it. That's all. Uh, uh, uh. 
I had a bowl cut. Only when I was like really young, yeah. But I actually, at one point, I, I did have a bowl cut. They were like kind of in style for a while in the 90s, that's why. Okay, top lobby, top lobby. Top lobby, top blue. No, he was not, he was never sipping. Okay, when is library? Give me wolf. Wow. I'm gonna try to go kill this guy, hold up. One, this just give me a sec. You had that in the 90s, you were asking for a beating? Yeah, bottom, bottom bar, bottom, bottom bar, bottom, bottom bar. Oh, this is like fucking open. Bottom blue. Place clear, place clear. Is he still bottom blue? No, he may have rotated to Westmain. Westmain, Westmain, go inside him. Yeah. Where's that guy? We can plant, we can plant. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, never mind, we're good, we're good. That's a monster. He's on the fucking bed, just pre firing. Play time. Why did you get my charm? Yeah, we, we have a did or ball. didn't you? Why did I get your charm? I have a use self count link to switch and just sub to the prime. Um, you mean did or didn't? You just subbed eight minutes ago, which hypothetically it could be on your account already, but you might have to like restart your game and it can take up to 24 hours. Oh, you didn't get it. Yeah, it takes up to 24 hours. Generally, it's like an hour is pretty like common an hour is pretty pretty average now we can they have people i mean they're, they're all good oh, yeah we got people you guys pull right now woo 723 baby two with you one nice you guys in the game right now we are ended. this one actually Nice, perfect timing. So did I. Woo! Good games tonight? What is this, dude? Queen Elizabeth's hat? Something yeah, like the game. British royalty would wear. Uh, Closet or plus game? But I don't know. He was bronze. Like, last season. Do 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 the guy, the other team were talking just mad crap, and it was my first game on with my friends, and um, we requeued and all three games. How much am I gaining per win? Uh, like the next two times I don't know, and... probably like ten now. I was getting like nine or eight at the beginning of the night, but I've lost a lot of elo today. Uh, I've been gaining nine elo, but I just lost four games and only won one so basically today i have four wins and four losses and i'm down 59 elo <laughs> three of the losses were to like cheaters so that's always real hot um definitely cheating xn <laughs> is 1.5 carry with 200 games look at the chew guy but you self, I mean, I don't know, bro. He has two KD with 650 games. <laughs> and look at his previous season. Two KD, bro. Oh. <laughs> I think he upgraded his gaming chair is what it was. I think we should be able to win that. I should get that ELO <laughs> back. Uh, maybe. Nah, I'm strolling. I don't fucking know. Yeah, can you let me I play mean, the OSA? If sure. Or... His win rate's not insane, though. I mean, it's pretty good for that many games, but...
I'll just report him now. Oh, man. Oh, don't bang in class. You might need that. Oh. Predictions? Probably not. Evidently, we're playing a cheater, so we're not going to do them. <laughs> Oh man, this game's been rough the past like few days. Fuck, I thought I was muted. Did you guys hear my phone the whole time? No. no. Okay, good. Fuck. Uh uh uh. The guy with the 2KD does Q with the guy with the 1.5. Over 100 games. So. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. They are together. Which one? Um, the first guy and the third guy. Possibly oh, one percent quality. Yeah. I was playing me, it was literally in prep and shot, it was the same bands. Ah. Fuck. Do 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 do. Though. You know one thing that I do miss about old video games? I know they were obviously much more simple and stuff, but uh... Oh, this guy is walling, probably. Let's see the kill cam. Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> Great start! Uh, no, that guy doesn't even try to hide her. Evidently, he has like a two point something KD or whatever, and like my teammates thought he was cheating. And uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna give him like a fucking chance. He is break dancing as Rook. Oh, oh, weirdos are dead. One op four remaining. Nice. We have cam for piano window. Friendly victorious. Hostiles eliminated. Uh. Hey, it's back. Go. Doming Dominguez, thank you very much for the tribe sub. Yeah. I clean up these shitters the during the day. How the fuck did we just win that? Bad. That, that guy is like blatantly fucking walling, by the way. I don't know how we just won that <laughs> round. Damn. We are just better, bro. We are just better. I almost killed him. But put him to 10 health, and then he just. I'm actually going to chank it, bro. Just for the clips. <laughs> I'm holding blue. Can I get out? Can I get out on my? <laughs> you know, on your team, I and I'm right today, and you call them out in chat, and his friends sort of team you. killing you. Classic siege Secure moment. Classico siege moment, though. I wanted, like, a fire and a knife. actually gonna be like... Yeah, because they might... That's actually really good, because... Oh, because... Oh, because... Oh, because... Yeah, can I get an ADS? 
down to 10 seconds. Stairs. Mm. Oh, above, 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 above. He's one health, one health. He dropped. Oh, he's in connector. He's in connector. In connector. In connector. One health in connector. Dead, dead, dead. Dude, because it's been around my daughter's like. Yeah, my daughter's Marvel, birthday and Marvel. stuff was like around now, so like the amount of things that I've built. Above, like, Look at the whole yeah, yeah, Okay, you're on that one. Uh, the amount of things that I've built I mean, in the past two days is low. absurd. Two on, two, two, on, two, two. On. two on this ping, two on this ping too. Fireplace. Go in main. Okay, Ash, come in main stairs, main stairs. One shot me. Oh, that's cheese. He just walled you right there. <laughs> That's why he knew the exact oh, hole to come and see me in too. Eliminated. I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna play Flash. I don't even fucking care. Tell these losers that they're, there's a guy cheating on their team. Maybe they'll yeah. team kill too. Probably not. They're probably getting boosted, but. Bro, I already tried asking one of the guys. One of the guys uh, even admitted, can we like, go, wow, can he's we go bar? Sense. Can we go bar? Oh, yeah. We can mirror too. He was on oh, our let's, team last game too. He was, he was talking. Uh, Surprising that TK. Maybe first instead of Lucian. Yeah, can you go first instead of Lucian? Mm -hmm. Uh, Frost. Oh, we got it, we got it, you're fine. You feel that buying shit from yeah, amazing but serious. framing with wood to make through our decorations look good? Oh, bluey decorations, oh, I yeah. Do we not love bar? Uh, I don't know, what a fine. fine, but... <sighs> Is there even a point of using these super shorty on Clash? I mean, it's kind of good. It's all good. It can be okay. If you have like a plan for it, I guess. They don't even shoot, uh, shoot the default cam, so... We can maybe get a C4 film. Yeah. But... Your son loves Bluey. No, I've just been building a bunch of stuff. Like my wife got like all these like like a miniature high chair that's for like my daughter's like doll. And uh, I got I built that. I built someone got her like a tricycle. I built the tricycle. My mother-in-law and father-in-law got her like a miniature roller coaster. I have to build that today. My wife got her like it's. This is actually that isn't any. I got delayed. There's a drone that just came in. Um, but you know, like the kitchen towers or whatever, so the kid can stand up in the kitchen. There's like that. Oh, they killed him? No. He killed one of the weirdos, but... Op uh, 4 located a bomb. Protect it. They want the trophy, I think. Might be going west end. They want to Fireplace is clear. Alright, they're actually acing behind me now. I gotta back up. They're on the both walls. They're 
I'm gonna die to a grenade. Okay, he's in. He jumped in. He jumped in. He's on top of the table. There's two in. He's on the table. He's literally on this table on that thing. Uh, 50 health on boiler wall. Yeah. Okay, dude. Okay, they're just catch the losers. <laughs> Look at fucking him, bro. Just make sure to report him. Make sure a random does as well. Look we'll at bang. Whatever. What are you gonna do? People are losers in the video game. Yeah. Please. Anything for a win. Anyway, what else do I have to build? Build something. Oh yeah, I built a rocking chair too and a crib. Crazy. He's played six hundred fifty games too. Like shit. Damn. And just if he actually played 615 as a band. <sighs> Late 30s, early 40s? No. Low 30s, buddy. Oh, no, the amount of stuff that I put together in the past few days is absurd. Oh. I gotta clean up my garage, and I'll, I gotta clean off my deck tomorrow, too. I might actually just, like... Ten seconds. Last time you caught a stream here was a tournament in Brazil. Oh. Five seconds before insertion. Right there with me. <coughs> Dude. Honestly, <coughs> I will say one nice thing about when I lived with my parents and stuff. One's bar hall right now. Is that like I didn't have to deal with any of this shit really? I gotta fucking clean the garage on my own, you know? There's a bandit downstairs. Bottom blue right now. Got Val. Yeah. That's what my. There's a guy top, top main, top main. Nobody's in top main. No, no, he was definitely top main. He might, he might not be there. What is the bathroom, bro? Yeah, he's still top main, top main, top main. Okay, I'm going with you. So top me. I'm picking to the left. Got him? Nice. He's uh, solar, solar, solar. I'm going piano. 10 health, 10 health. Nice push up, push up. Going master door. He's 10 health, 10 health. Got a plant. Bidets are definitely an Arabic thing to do. Um, yeah. I mean, I, f I feel like, yeah, bidets are a pretty big thing in the Middle East as well. But I think they're, mo like, the biggest, Let's like, I don't know. I would say, J like, Japan is most known for bidets for sure. <laughs> Japan is definitely most well known. Ugh. <sighs> A step ladder. I actually do need a step. Like, well, not a step ladder. I need to go. I, I need to bust out the ladder. I need to go in my attic soon. What is ESA and CSS? I think that's a counter strike. I don't know. I think there's some like shit fucking tier 96 leagues or something. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm. Insertion. Insertion in five seconds. Uh, uh, uh. Locate and defuse the bomb. Reloading! 
I'm 6'4, you met me in real life. Yep. I'm actually 6'4. Uh, Solace was in trophy, but. Here we are. Speaking of that, sorry. Okay. Bro, this guy's full blind and he's fucking killing me, like... Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, the careful, plant. If you plant, plant somewhere that's like hard floor. Nice. You see it, bro? Fucking suck, bro. That's why. They fuck you too. They fuck. Yeah, bro. I can't fucking talk. <laughs> You're going basement for sure, I think. <sighs> the shears are terrible. I don't know what to do when they're just getting like rushed by shields because they're fucking awful at the game. Why they cheat? We can ace the uh, wine cellar wall, get the long angle. Anyway, tomorrow, I gotta clean my garage. Drone has located a bomb. Gotta say though, I used to help my parents with like a lot of that kind of I stuff, but... Dude, now, like, my son can't help me. My son's six months old. Slow. Maybe we can actually kill him. I think he runs pretty hard. We can maybe just do a direct push. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to go. I heard him. Make my son pay rent. You've located a bomb. Let's go there, Shani. He's six months old, you got a social security number. What are you doing not contributing to this household? I'm cleaning the garage all by myself, you see. Loading your mic! He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Peeking again, peeking again. He's still on ping. On ping. Nice. Ooh, huge. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just work together and close this shit out. Yeah, let's work together. 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 Still blue, Western. still blue. He's running into. Oh, okay. That guy's like throwing, probably. Okay, there's one pillar, pillar. Okay, okay. Just come. Plant underneath like the hard floor over here. Good shit. Fuck these losers, man. Fucking awful. Protocol of that. The blitz of. That was my last game, bro. Do you have all of the elites? Sure, I think that has to be mine, too. Alright, GG's voice. Have a nice G night. Did you play Coda? Mm hmm. Okay. We might want to wait a little. <coughs> Alright, you got anybody? Uh, I can check. Jeez, guys. Jeez. Uh, 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 yeah. Am I fluent in any other languages? Nope. Just English. I do understand a little bit of Arabic. Very, very little. And it's just more understanding. I can't really speak.
uh, and uh, Chaldean, which is that's what I am. So and that's that's pretty fucking funny game though. That guy was walling and still loses. Absolute fucking trash can. I actually took Spanish in, uh, I took Spanish in, uh, in high school. I just, I don't know, I just forgot, like, literally everything. <laughs> yeah, whenever you're ready to, um, start Q, you can do it. I'm fine with whatever. <sighs> I took Spanish, in, actually, no, I took French in high school. Spanish in college. Can't speak either at all. And I was actually, like, semi-fluent in, like, both of them. Not, like, fluent-fluent, but, you know. Enough where I could, like, if someone was a French or Spanish speaker, I would be able to, like, understand and, like, respond in basic terms. Like, a conversational, I would say. Now, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, I'm going to make sure this, this, uh, what's it called? This, like, rest of this month, though, I'm going to crank out anything that I got to fucking crank out around the house, maintenance-wise, anything that I was planning on doing over the summer and stuff like that, just get all of that fucking done. Uh, and this way I could just enjoy my summer and stuff like that before it gets, like, warm, warm. How the hell can I play rank so casually? It's mind-blowing. Uh, I don't know. Just fucking run around, dude. And my degree. I actually never finished my college degree. I have like three and a half years, but I was uh studying finance. That was that was my goal is to work in finance, eventually go get mass my masters and but then but like the short story is I fireworks became legal in Michigan where I live. I live in Detroit. Uh, I applied, I had the first license in the entire state through basically finding a supplier that would give me a lot of credit, a landlord that wouldn't charge me a lot of rent. Me and my friend combined our, our money. We had $2,500 in savings each, five grand. That was mostly just used to pay for like licensing and stuff like that, essentially. And, uh, yeah, we grew it into like a pretty nice size business and eventually sold it off. And uh, that's why I dropped out of school. And then I did move into commercial property development uh, after I sold that business off. And then now I am a streamer. I am a streamer. I just stream and play video games. I mean, I still do a lot of other stuff on the side, other investments and stuff, but that's pretty much it. I don't play video games now. So, I used to play pro, and now just stream. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do. Do Siege and super overwhelmed. Any tips for a beginner? Try to find at least one teammate, or even a random person in your game, that will, like, communicate with you, and you can just talk with them. <coughs> And uh, <coughs> uh, you can just talk with them <coughs> and drone them in and they can drone you in. Having that information of where people are and having one person to like back you up and trade kills out and stuff is going to be super useful. If you can get your whole team to do that with you, you're probably going to rank up very quickly. Probably will rank up very quickly. Yep. If you watch this stream, it'll help you a lot. I would say one thing that's a big benefit of, like, my stream over potentially other streams and stuff, too, is I generally try to, like, work together with my team and, like, play support. <sighs> I feel like I'm one of the few streamers, for the most part, that actually plays support. And like coordinates, tries to coordinate the team to get in there and you know, 
with the round instead of just like running in with like ash and just trying to kill everybody. Hey, if you're able to do that, that's fine, I suppose. We have a cheater on our team. But I'm a geriatric. I gotta play the game. I gotta play the game uh, at the, like the right way at a slower pace. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. If you're over 30, do you have to play support? Yes. The rule. Ugh. Uh, we have played a number of cheaters today. It's been pretty bad, just to be completely honest. It has not been great. It has not been awesome. Hmm. <clears throat> this is guy for sure cheating on our team. Yeah, he's talking about it in the chat too. Bane. Secure the bombs. <laughs> yeah, for real. He's got a two point three after two hundred fifty games. Wonderful. He's only ten in a row with like a four KD bonus. Okay. I feel bad, I ran Their team was just completely wrong. Dumb pump. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, I haven't been banning shields as much because we just keep having like cheaters <laughs> randomly all the time. Keep an eye out for Op 4 attempting to defend the bomb. Someone on their team thinks that I'm getting boosted by him. Insane. I get boosted, man. What happened? Why are you getting boosted? You know what? Ball reinforced! Time for the boost. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 50 health breach. One out four remaining. Where's this guy? Outside breach? Is it all watcher? Oh, nice trade. Mission successful. That body jumped. I'm actually pretty excited tomorrow too. If uh when I end up cleaning my garage, <clears throat> I have uh I just I actually bought it over the winter because there was like a crazy deal on it. But you know, have you guys ever seen those heads that you could attach to like a power washer? Like I'd rather and, play against cheaters. I know that's crazy to say. 
Because, like, you at least have a chance to keep the elo after if you win. It's like a free game, essentially, but when you play with them, you, the game is really just a waste of time no matter what. Okay. Pretty much. level 821 legit no there's only one person that is a higher level than me and they're level 821 uh they've been eight level 821 since year one season one which is humanly impossible there's was actually not even enough hours in year one season one to hit level 821 like even if the guy played every waking moment of that day of that year he still couldn't have done that This guy, this ash is so low. Are they throwing? They yeah, put in here. Op four, last operator standing. So which guy? Which guy on our team is cheating? Uh, the guy on the bottom of the leaderboard. Oh, the echo. Yeah. Let's see. Well, he is using the fucking cyber truck. <laughs> that cyber truck? Yeah, that fucking site. That, that site is the that site is the biggest goober site in the world, bro. Are you sure this guy's walling? Yeah. He might be trying to hide now. But... Maybe. Did you see a stab? He's a level 100 for this season. Friendly victorious. Uh, eliminated. I don't know. I mean, he might just be trolling these guys. Too. I mean, his movement's not exactly the best, but I mean, I had uh, a 17 KD. Like. <laughs> For like one season. So like, it, how many games does he have? Is a hundred? Uh, two fifty. Oh, two fifty, and he has a four KD. Uh, two point three. Last season he was a point nine silver. I don't know. He's probably cheating. Like statistically speaking, he's probably a cheater. But I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see how he does in a 1v4. That's when he'll start going nuts, I think. Maybe, yeah. His, his movements, his movements just so area. Keep awful, like, Yeah, that, no his movement did seem push. pretty bad. It's just tough to say, because, like, you could just bait super hard, and there's also KD glitching, and there's also, like, feasting on people when you make a new account. Like, I don't know. Or... Like, that's why I just don't know. And then there's a lot of people who try to get the enemy team to think they're cheating when they're not even cheating. Just to, like, get in their head. The big... The big... No, oh, he's probably cheating. I, I don't doubt that he probably is, but... Just putting out all the scenarios, I guess. Oh, 
By the way, this is a good scum angle, chat. A good scum angle. You just want to absolutely scumbag someone's feet off. People always walk past this like little spot. Do you know that little catwalk that's outside the kitchen? That's where this is. So if people start rotating from kitchen window to go to lobby, you can get their toesies. See if I can get anybody. What is this guy doing? Uh, billiards going vending. Vending double. King five. Ah, uh, four eliminated. Successful. Is the enemy team just like giving up? I don't know what the fuck they're doing. No idea. Let's see what the team is like. Uh, a couple of them are emerald players. Oh. Like lifetime or seasonal? Uh, two of them are lifetime. Damn. Whoever get bored <laughs> play. Matchmaking is pretty unfortunate. Oh uh, no, I actually don't uh, get bored uh, play really. Uh, uh, the only time I get bored is like just whenever well, there's cheaters in the game. It's just boring. But I also have a hundred ping. It's just very boring to play against cheaters. Very boring stuff. Well, oh, that I enjoy playing. Drone has located a bomb. Do you believe in sending kids to extremely expensive luxury schools for education or just normal schools? Um, I think it depends what you make of it. I mean, I know people who went to, like, super exclusive private schools and did nothing with their lives. And I know people who went to public school and are super successful. So... I mean, it's all—it's really on like the either the kid themselves to be motivated, or if they're not, the parents to like help them, you know, get there. You get the batteries. Or electrical. Reloading. Oh yeah. That was good. Uh, he just traced someone through the wall. Must recover the diffuser. Swapping max! I think there's a guy at the top river guy. Last one on the river. The diffuser is now secured. Thank you. 
Still won anyways, because this guy's a baiting loser. <clears throat> uh, I mean, I think if you have the money to do it, then like, you know. Which one was? I don't want to commend the, the person who is potentially cheating. Who is the potential cheater? Uh, Gridlock. Oh no, he is for sure. I was watching him, and he traced someone and followed him, and then killed him on headles. <laughs> mm. I, I reported him just in case. He's. He was in sight. Not even. Nah. I'll report him too. Hold I I clip it and show you, but I don't know if you watch streams in the Discord. I just report him anyway. Fuck it. <coughs> He's probably cheating. <coughs> He's he's like a kid with like a New Jersey accent. <laughs> Fuck. It's funny. I think I'm just going to fucking call it there. It's pretty late, and I got to do a bunch of shit before I go to bed. Yeah, it's fine. Jeez, man. I'll be out tomorrow, though. You jeez. Better. Uh, me too. See you. Good night. Well, pain and suffering. Good shit. Um, yeah, the cheating has definitely gotten better. It still could be better than it is, but it's better for sure. What's my ending win loss? Let's see for the night. Uh, six wins, seven with that last one, I guess, and uh, four losses, and that puts me at a negative four elo for the, the, the day. So going seven and four, uh, I went minus forty. Cool stuff. I think it's even more than that. I'm pretty sure I was like a hundred elo. At I'm probably down 100 ELO. I think this is like glitching out. Setting your kids to the best school possible. I mean, assuming that like money is not, a, is, you know, an issue to do it. You're not like financially harming yourself. Like, I'm, I mean, if you could afford a good like private education for your kids, like, you know, sure. It's, it's a good option potentially. But I, I think for most people, it's like pretty tough to, to do that, so. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember when I was higher at the champion, like when I was like top 100 champion, I think the one day I went 10 and 1, and I was even on ELO, because I was gaining 4 ELO per game, and uh, I was losing 40 every loss. <laughs> so 4 ELO per win, 40 per loss. I was 10 and 1 with like a 1.8 KD, on the day, and I still lost ELO. So, that shit was cool. Alright, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, if you guys are doing the stream, make sure you follow the stream, so you get no and so you know, uh, you know, I'll appear in your followers list on the left-hand side. There should also be a notification bell that pops up, and then I'll tell you when I go live. So I don't have a schedule, I just kind of stream around this time, but I do not have a schedule. So follow and turn on notifications if you want to know when I'm actually live. Some days I get on in the morning, but most of the time somewhere around this time. My social media accounts are right here. My main YouTube channel is there. Uh, I have an excellent team of editors who have been killing it. Funny and informative videos all the time, so definitely go check it out. Second YouTube channel is there every day at 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, I upload a full game of Siege, and at 8 a.m. I have my Twitch VODs that I back up there and 7.30 YouTube Shorts. Twitter is there where I post a little clip from the stream. Um... Actually, no. I mostly just post that I'm live there, and I post random bullshit. Instagram and TikTok, that's where I post a little clip from the stream every day, uh, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't checked it out, editors put some really good content up there, too. And we have a public Discord server if you want to hang out with chat after the stream is over. I did make a bidet. 
It's available right here. You can click here or type extra shrimp bidet in the chat. This is what it looks like. It comes in white. It comes in black. It's a very nice product. <coughs> if you haven't picked it up yet, white one's on sale right now. But this is the box uh, that it comes in. And uh, inside the box comes the instruction manual. Get metal braid supply line, a metal T, and the actual bidet itself. If you don't know about this thing, I actually spent $60,000 and about a year and a half of time developing this bidet. The reason I developed it is because there were no high-quality bidets under $50, so I said I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and make a better bidet that's affordable for people to buy and it can be installed by anyone, pretty much. So the way that you install it is really fast and easy. This part actually comes off the back. You unscrew your existing toilet seat, put it underneath your toilet seat, screw the toilet seat back on, put this in, click it into place, fold the nozzle down until it clicks. The bidet is mounted. On the bottom right or left of your toilet, there should be a little valve. Turn it all the way to the right, and then you unscrew your existing water supply line that looks like this. Probably want to flush the toilet a couple of times to empty the water. Screw this on in its place. Screw the old water supply line on here. Then this T brings fresh water, and you screw it into the back of the bidet right here. So tighten up all the connections and turn the water back on. Then basically, what does this thing do? When you take a shit, you click the ass wash button after you're done shitting, and a nozzle will come out from down here and shoot a clean stream. It's Remember that tea brings in clean water, the same stuff that comes out of your shower, at your butthole. It's basically a miniature shower for your ass every time you shit. It's amazing. If you have not used one of these things, it is an absolute life-changing, game-changing moment. Okay. Uh, there's also a female wash option for the ladies and a self-cleaning function. Uh, so the nozzle self cleans itself, and there is a knob to control the pressure. Really nice knob that I spent a lot of time designing. That's uh, what it is. And there's an actual stop button to turn off the bidet. So, why would you buy one of these things? Uh, number one, it's way cleaner. After you use a bidet, you'll never go back. The level of cleanliness that you get is much better than uh, toilet paper or wipes. If you got shit on your hand, would you rather wash them in the sink or would you rather clean them off with water? Obviously, you'd rather clean them off with water, right? Saves you a boatload of money, right? Normally, uh, you're using toilet paper to wipe up quite a bit uh, and uh, wipes, right? But this will save you a bunch of money. I used to spend about 20 bucks a month on a big pack of toilet paper and now I buy that same pack every like five to six months. Because you just use a little bit of toilet paper to dry up. That's it. It's also faster. It's easier on your, your toilets. Less clogs for your toilets, plumbing. If you have a septic tank, you have to pump it out less often. And uh, it uses very little water, so it's better for the environment and stuff as well. So buy a bidet today. They're $39.99. It comes with free shipping. You do not need Prime to get that free shipping. Everyone gets free shipping as long as you're within the U.S. And if you do like the bidet, please leave a review. Um... Helps a whole bunch. So if you bought one, please leave a review. Or if you're buying one and you like it, please leave a review. Uh, I have a Charm message. If you want to get it, sub to me on Twitch and link up your Ubisoft account, Twitch account. That's all you have to do. You get my in-game Rainbow Six Charm for free on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, all guns, all operators, all future guns, all future operators. You just sub to me one time for a month and you get to keep the Charm forever. Uh, tier 1, 2, 3 sub, gifted sub, or free with Prime. If you have Prime, click here. Link up your Amazon account, Twitch account. You can sub to me every month for free. And you can also link a family member or friends with their uh, permission or do a free 30-day trial. So if you sub to me on Twitch, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Every month that you, that you actively sub, you get um, 60 emotes, sub badge, no ads, Discord roll, and of course support the stream. I get money when you sub, whether you use a free Prime sub um, or a regular sub. And you only have to sub one time for a month, but you get to keep the charm forever. Merch is right here. It comes in a multitude of different colors for the classic stuff as well as black ice. And lastly, there is G Fuel. You can click here or type <coughs> Xmash G Fuel in the chat. You can hover the shop section. There's the energy form, which is caffeinated, as well as hydration form, which is caffeine free. There's also a bunch of stuff that's on sale, as well as shaker cups and gear. Uh, anything that you buy, use code King George. It'll always give you the biggest discount. So the discounts are 10, 20, or 30% off. Depends on the item. But my code will always give you the biggest discount. It helps me out with my sponsor, and I get money when you use my code. So I appreciate it if you take the time to use it. If you haven't tried G Fuel, you could try a starter kit. You can click here uh, and check out all of G Fuel's awesome products. The way it works, you pour the pack into powder in the cup, add some water. I like to add a little ice. 
shake it up, and you have an energy drink. There's 140 milligrams of caffeine, which is about two cups of coffee, same as your standard energy drink. Uh, there's no sugar, unlike sugar energy drinks, uh, but you never guess that it was sugar-free because it tastes so good. The cups are reusable, um, and uh, the best part of all, it's under a dollar per serving. If you haven't tried it before, so when you buy the tubs, it's under a dollar per serving, you go to the energy tubs. These tubs have 40 servings inside of them. They're $35.99, under a dollar per serving. Plus, you can use code King George, which puts it well under a dollar per serving. This flavor is super good. It used to be Twitch's official um, uh, flavor when Twitch was sponsored by G Fuel, but they brought it back. It hasn't been around in years, so definitely get it. It's a really good flavor. It's called Sour Pixel Potion. It's like a sour grape. But they do collabs, you know, with tons of, you know, anime, TV shows, video games, Doom, Dragon Ball, Cyberpunk, Genshin, uh, Naruto Sage Mode is a really good flavor, Sonic Page Rings, Watermelon, and Hype Sauce are two great flavors, PewDiePie and XUC's flavors are really good, uh, Sour Blue Chug Rug I would really recommend as a great flavor for the summer, um, and uh, Binding of Isaac's, Isaac's Tears is super good as well, so check it out. But that's about it for me, chat. If you guys do the stream, once again, just follow, turn on the notifications. Check out the other socials if you want more content. Buy a bidet, clean your asshole today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day or night wherever you are.